Alright. As I foible around with my microphone, as I always do. And adjust the volume on my fucking headset, because I can't... Can't hear myself think. Alright. <laughs> we are back with more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Just want to make sure that all my audio shit is set correctly, it seems so. One can never be too sure. So, a couple things before we start. First of all, probably hear the fan in the background. Fan, AC, whatever. Hear the air conditioner in the background. That's not going off. <laughs> it's not. It's hot as hell. It's not going off. Second of all, because of the coronavirus, um, fucking, you know, children, right? They stay up late at night. So you're gonna hear some some happenings in the background. Hopefully, they're not too loud. They're not my children. Hopefully, they're not too loud. Right? So, that's gonna be there. <laughs> Other than that, I think that's all I really want to address. Where we last left off, we were, I, I assume, towards the end of the third trial. Hey, Espeon. Um, and, man, I have, like, probably one of the most fucked up sleep schedules ever. Because, I kid you not, right after I did the last stream, I instantly went, Oh, look, the new update for Final Fantasy XIV is out, and then I fucking went and started playing that, and I played that all the way until, like, 6 in the afternoon. So I was up from like, you know, <laughs> from like 2 o'clock in the morning all the way to 6 in the afternoon. And then I was like, man, I should get some sleep so I can stream tonight. So I woke up about like 20 minutes ago, I want to say. <laughs> and then right after this stream, I'm going to have to go do Shadowbringers bullshit in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. But, you know. That's how we do out here. Fucking. This is what happens. I don't even remember where the fuck I was at. Oh my god. That one's four hours. Six hours of this one. It's probably the last one. Yeah, this one's this one's the save that we were at, it seems. Man. I once again, I've made a, a sad mistake today in which I really didn't eat anything. <laughs> so, at some point in this stream, my stomach's just gonna fucking start killing me. It's gonna be like, eat something, and I'm probably still gonna refuse to do so, because that's just how weird I am. Alright. God, I am so not ready for the stream. <laughs> I am out of it. I am loopy. I've only gotten about five hours of sleep, maybe. Maybe. On, a, on like, a good note. Alright. Maya, what's going on here? The Steel Samurai. I don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? What? You mean Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah. But Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. Why would he go through the trouble of stealing it? And that's what I, uh, that's what we gotta find out. The director's alibi. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear that the producer and the director were both in the trailer. Hmm. Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime was the studio too, where the trailer is. What? Oh, was Maya always this excitable? Well, have you uh, well have you noticed anything that might help us? I can't I can't see what's going on with Mia is here. Oh, uh, when Mia's here, all right. I am out of the loop right now. So no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should go talk to WP. WP Powers, right? Cool. Let's mosey on over. 
I don't know why I went to the studio gate. I was trying to go to the detention center. October 19th, Global Studios main gate. Are you okay, old bags? The old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick? I think her guard's down. Yeah. I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we want. You eat, you die. Phew! She's alive! <laughs> she just... Just doesn't like us, huh? Maybe she'll like us. If I show her my attorney badge. Um, Miss Old Bags? What do you think of this? Think? I'm not in the mood for thinking. Thank you very much. Alright. Well... Producer Vasquez. Um, I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio's bigwigs love her. So, she's always so she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Can I ask you about Salmonella, the director? Salmonella. I keep saying Sam. Sal? He's, he's a soft pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to do. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. Gotta keep her innocent. I'll keep you innocent. Always gotta do the badge wave? Exactly! You gotta let him know. You gotta fucking flex on him. About Mr. Hammer. <clears throat> I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer. You drag his star <laughs> he's dragged his star down from the sky and stomp on it. Calling him a criminal, a thief. I I won't forget this. Uh oh, she's really pissed this time. If you listen to me, whippersnapper. My poor old hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Power's costume so he could sneak it by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. Maybe they were all like, Hey, if you steal the samurai costume, we'll make you the star by secret, right? And then we'll change the credits up. And then they got him to the trailer and then they said, Time to kill him. Well, bam. And then they start stabbing him. Just like that. Um, I want to head to the detention center. October 19th, detention center. Visitor's room. Mr. Wright. You did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick. You must have really wowed him in there. And could you wipe the grin off your face? Hey, WP. Only one day left. Let's make it count. Yes. Th isn't that what you usually say to someone when <laughs> when something's about to be just, just over? I don't think that's what you're supposed to say to someone who's on, like, the fucking chopping block. Though, there's not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. Alright, Producer Vasquez. Can you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. Genius. She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares to tell her different these days. Why's that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees. The bees? Knees. But she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And? What? N nothing. I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Cool. Director Manella. Manella. Ugh. Can't speak. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight to video director. But something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Sa Sal Manella. Yeah, I mean, don't eat that chicken, man. Cook it first. <laughs> I, heard, I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he acts out high, and all that. I can imagine him being her beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. 
God damn. God damn. Even big boys gotta jump. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh. Yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in the business. But he just dropped. He just stopped talking on big ro uh, talking on uh, taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global Studio. Uh, Global Studios. I added studios, and it. I added studios, and it scared me. Five years ago. Don't worry, mister. We'll get you out of this predicament, because I am an attorney. Uh, excuse me? Thank you for showing me that, whatever it is. I wish I could think of some way for me to help. I'm sorry. Okay. But if you don't know, now you know. Alright? <laughs> Alright, let's head back to the studio. Employee area. October 19th, Global Studios. Employee area. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming, just once. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come and see them film later. I guess. This is where you found the bottles of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Gumshoe? No, no, no. No touching! Absolutely not. Sorry, I had to yawn. Alright. <laughs> oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. Didn't mean? I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I guess it can be a little dramatic. Uh, dram what the fuck? Dramatic. I'm not, I'm not sure how I pronounce that. Dramatic? Dram dramatic? I don't know. You can be dramatic at sometimes. That's what we're doing. I suppose it's the actor in me. Yeah, fuck. I don't. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not like my like. I have an idea how to pronounce it, but my mouth won't allow me to do it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm here to examine the plate on the table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces. Therefore, thereof. The plate. So, you're looking for traces of sleeping pills. How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a curious examination right here. Curious? Corsary. Curious? No. Our science, our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills, see? If there's a trace, it'll change color. Wow, neat. Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now. Everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, alright. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. State plate added. The investigation. The prosecutor Edgeworth. Tell me about Edgeworth. Let's get some dirt on that guy. How's Edgeworth doing anyways? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed the paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. How tough. Cups, bottles. Say, whatever happened with the empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim Jack Hammer's print on the bottle. So that means... Yep, sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Sleeping pills. The investigation. How goes your investigation? To tell you the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pr pursue the case we already have against Powers. Some people think we should switch subjects. Subjects. Suspects. 
What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I'd buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Fuck that guy! Are you feeling bad for him for? Fucking... That fucking guy? I just have to give you a friendly reminder. I'm guessing I know you mu- <laughs> I'm guessing I know as much about you as you do, pal. I.e. nothing. Wow. I don't know nothing about myself. To the dressing room. Oh, hey, Penny. Or should I say, murderer? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? what Why? But WP's innocent. Yes, and I'm real grateful for all you've done, but... This week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. What? No! I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes. On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. You stole the Steel Samurai costume too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah. Miss Vasquez, that producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of incident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? The last episode. Wh what do you mean, the last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No. Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change their, its programming. They're not going to make kids show anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? The Studio Bigwits don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all about... They want to forget that this all ever happened. They want it quiet. Do you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love Steel Samurai? It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. My attorney's badge. <laughs> um, scrapbook? Probably scrapbook. And this is a fan collection of all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show c couldn't be canceled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters. You can tell me something. Tell me what is. Uh, tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about the incident five years ago. Okay. Five years ago. <coughs> it took everything in my willpower not to flash my attorney's badge. Phoenix will be their new hero with the shiny badge. Exactly. The shiny badge of justice. Whenever you see its glint in the distance, you know that justice shall be served. Could you tell us what's happening? Uh, what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died and it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyways, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to? But it was an incident, right? Incident? It was an accident, right? Same difference. Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know, Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen if his career, uh, to his career if word got out. 
I see. You know, you know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks. We'll try asking her. If she'll talk. I'll make her talk. By the way, Penny. Forgot to show you this earlier. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what to make of that. Don't worry. You will one day. For I am the new hero of justice. What are you still slinking around? Wait, slinking? Slinking? Is that, is that, am I saying that right? What, you're still slinking around? You just call me S Scout Master. I was about to say Scout Master Slinkman, but he's not the Scout Master, that's Lumpus. <laughs> if you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darnest to forget Hammer. Who do they, th who do, uh, who do they think made Global Studio what it is today? Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. She's, she's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. All right, five years ago. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Who told? Who did you hear that from? Uh, I am um, Nicholas. Nick Nichols? Nicholas, Nick, Penny Nicholas. <laughs> the assistant, Penny Nicholas, really? The assistant we talked to. Oh, right. Anyways, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whippersnapper. Dredging up dirt on someone past like that, and the recent departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun. I mean, it's kind of a fun game, yeah. <laughs> no. I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume? You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or did you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm. I don't think I do have proof, actually. Uh... I guess I can show her the sleeping pills, maybe. I'll I'll try that. I'm sorry, Miss Oldbags, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. With this, ha! Here's my proof. What? What old empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills, with Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. What does that prove? I'm sure old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Yeah, especially you fucking hounding him. All right, I'm pretty sure I have nothing on this subject actually. So how do I back out? How do I say no? How do I just go no? Oh. Dinner plate. What? Miss Power. Uh, Mr. Power ate the T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, so? This is the plate that he used to eat the steak. There are traces of sleeping pill power on powder on this place. Huh? I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Oldbag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? I'm tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldbag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. And that photo? Well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She had ties to the Mafia. She silenced the paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became the force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Miss Oldbag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldbag. Why are you feeling bad for the enemy? Stop it! How dare you, Maya. Here, take this. Huh? A photograph? Oh. My. God. Wait a second. This is... This picture... It's the trailer in Studio 2. Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on the top of those stairs here. He pushed the other actor at them, and the man fell onto the flower... into the flower box fence. Dude got impaled. But how did they get this? 
does that guy's death have something to do with the way that, uh, that, um, what's his name? That hammer died? It's kind of weird that that guy got impaled, what seems to be the chest, then hammer got impaled, what seems to be the chest. You know, just a little goes around, comes around. It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five years ago. Cool. Alright, let's head to studio over here. October 19th, Studio 1 entrance. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume, then he left from here to go to Studio 2. Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the prosecutor. Probably. Probably, uh... <clears throat> probably, uh, Vasquez. Let's get to Studio 2. October 19th, Studio 2. Entrance. Now, we gotta be careful what we say to her. She got ties to the Mafia. And even though my badge is shining in, in brilliant gold, it's not powerful enough to stop her. Might be powerful enough to f strike the fear of God in her, though. Hey, Nick. It's Miss Vasquez. Hello? Hello? Hell. <laughs> okay. Got that. But Maya... You should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Um, excuse me. Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder, and... Shh. Huh? Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really taking me off. Oh, dear. Um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. It's Phoenix. Do you not expect him to play fast and lose? I'm in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I think I'm... I think I'm... Uh, I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You. You did it. Nick, she did it. She's the killer. Miss Fayblood, speak to me. I know it. I know it. Miss Fayblood? Did I read that right? I think she said my Fayblood. I fucked that up. I fucked it up, didn't I? Oh, dear. Director Manella. Oh, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer by yourselves. Oh. Oh, dear. Don't worry. I know exactly what will get you squawking. Ha! She's not even looking. My ultimate weapon. It was useless. Okay. Hey, you look. What? Why are you shoving... <laughs> Why are you showing that to me, Nick? Someone has to see it. Someone has to recognize my authority. Uh, which photo is it? Don't worry, I'll get her talking. But bam! She's not even looking. Where? Wh what? Where'd you get that? I will. Old bag. Uh, old? She means the security lady, Miss Old Bag Nick. Right. Anyways, Miss Vasquez, you hit this incident from the press, didn't you? And used to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The what? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. The icy winds of death now approaches on you, Mr. Phoenix. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Let's not. Let's not do that. That sounds... That sounds highly dangerous. Nick? She went inside the trailer. Maya, get my gun. I use it for emergencies. This is an emergency. Get my gun. <laughs> yeah, like they carry guns in Japan. Unless you're part of the Yakuza. It's time for me to die. Hmm. You came. Well then, what was it you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? 
It's Vasca. Vasquez. You were using the the accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer to, so you can control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kid shows for petty change. Hmm. So I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh. I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour on its own accord. But, but... You were the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me? What's this all about? You keep saying accident. Accident. Now are you sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That's what I mean. Where, where's your proof? Can you prove it? Hmm. Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard. Believe it. Wait, what? Whoa, hey. Hey. Get the gun. <laughs> Actually, get the thinker. It, it has a body count. <laughs> More than one. And I ran him hard. Believe you me. I mean, with the with the way you act, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you run anyone hard if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey. But the security lady said it was an accident. Oh, well she's a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on a reporter who brought the photo into the studio. She wrenched it out. Uh, she what? She, she wrenched it out of his hands. She did. Gave him a few bruises too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporters would need it. Uh, would need it. Eh. All the reporters would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy, but he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you're holding. Give it to me now. What? This is valuable evidence, boys. This is why I said, get the fucking, get the gun, get the gun. You knew she had ties with the Mafia. Why would you follow her in a secluded area? Also, where the fuck were these guys hiding? Are they just here all the time? <laughs> um... Who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? Wh what? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. <laughs> Tell me why. Tell me why! Ain't nothing but a heartache. Start breaking out into song. Listen, Phoenix. Your only last hope. Flash that badge. They'll get scared. <laughs> why do you want the photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why would D. Vasquez care about all that? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that, where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, he raced away. No! Hold it right there! I heard everything, pal! D. Vasquez. You're coming down to the precinct with me now. Oh my god, he's good for something! Hmm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then, in court. I love how... How Gumshoe walks in, and he's all like, Not so fast. All of you are coming downtown with me. As the one guy in the corner over there is literally reaching for the gun in his pocket. <laughs> like, what? I'll be looking forward to it. Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get him any chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... 
I wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Now praise me. Okay, I got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Well, Nick, it looks like they're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? De Vasquez. To be continued. I love how they're pretending like none of the Mafia can just wait for Phoenix at home, right? He just goes home. <laughs> and Guy's just sitting there in a chair like, welcome home, honey. Alright. October 20th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number one. Sorry, that was that was a long ass young I just said. This is why you like Gumshoe. He's a bit bumbling, but ultimately good at heart. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty good. I believe by the way it seems, I believe maybe by the second game he'll he'll be on our side. <laughs> Alright. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of the trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in Studio 2's trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm? Very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss V- Miss- eh, fuck. Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is the producer who was present in Studio 2 trailer that day. Are you allowed to smoke in court? <laughs> Well, the witness states her- oh, well. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I'm a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. If you must- If you must pun- wow. Pun of- pun of- I don't know that word. I'll be honest, I don't know it. Uh, do it when I'm not here. Man, Edgeworth's just getting shit this whole entire trial. I mean, deservedly so, right? Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Concerning? Considering. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. R right. She's guilty. I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. I don't... That's what we call harassment. I entered the trailer oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp, ended at 4. There, would be, there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I asked Sal to take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steak on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? To the van. Hmm? Huh? 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 Bow chicka wow wow. There's a van in Studio 2. I had him take me to that. I thought it might be risky to walk with that monkey he with that monkey head toppled over. I don't think that's all that went on in that van. I, I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Alright. I entered the trailer. Alright, okay. Um, who the fuck? 
Someone just banged on my wall like a like a madman. Studio one, it's fatigue. Crucial being studio. Okay. So I'll take me. It's a 50 minute break in the meeting. I mean 15, 30 minute. Whatever you know what I mean. Sally T bone steak. Table in front of the trailer. Well, Nick, find anything? Kind of wish she had a little more. It's hard. I think she's been. I think she used to be in the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in there. Okay. Are they not adding the part when they say they found the body in Studio One? So I guess we're not just adding that part when they said Studio One. All right, whatever. Squeeze some information out of this. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. <laughs> he says as he slams the desk. Oops. It was a 15 minute break. All right. I was fatigued, so I was like, why were you fatigued? Hold on. Yeah, so I'll take you with the... Oh, wait, no. Fuck. She just answered that. Oh, right, yeah. We had rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. The meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. In the trailer, a little before noon. Alright. Alright, well, let's check what evidence I have. Oh, hey, James. How you doing? Didn't see you there for a hot moment. Um, let's see. Guide map, murder weapon, monkey head, da -da, the picture, sleeping pills. Use van to driver to trailer. Found employee area and trace the sleeping pills. Alright. It's gotta be something I gotta squeeze out of here. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal? No. I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have time to eat T-Bone steak. If I had some evidence that she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick? Find anything? Alright. Wish I had a little more. Evidence that she didn't eat the steak. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Found player, trace of sleeping pills. I need evidence that she didn't eat the steak. Walk path of crime. It has to be in one of the presses. So, ended at four. Let's press as much as I can. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said for you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> Damn. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at 4 at the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. You would think. Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. Alright. 15 minute break at the meeting. What did you do during it? What were you doing during that time? Oh yeah, I, yeah, I did this one already. Okay. I think I've ringed as much information out of this as I can on the table in front of the trailer. Alright. You want a steam key and a giveaway? What was it? <laughs> What'd you win? Um. New digital camera. 
Jackhammer's fingerprints. Good map. After their meeting in the trailer. Blocked on the path of crime between 2.15 and 4 p.m. What are the times she said? Okay. This tea, so take me. The rehearsal afterwards. The meeting began at 12 sharp, ended at 4. Into the trailer, a little for Well, let's press this at least. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in at the employees area? No. Are you always this tierce? Yes. Oh dear. So I need to prove somehow that she didn't eat the steak. Alright. Rear weapon, lock the pile, scrapbook, camera. Van. Leading in the trailer. How the fuck would I prove that she did not eat the steak? Hmm. Two minute break, meaning. So I see my steak, take one from the trailer. I'm gonna press that again and see what uh Phoenix says. Someone who can verify it, so no, I mean someone else. A person is enough. Commit murder during the break. She would have time to eat T-bone steak. Have some evidence that she didn't eat that steak. Shit. This is kind of a toughie. Why do I feel like the monkey head could come into play here? I have an inkling that the monkey head could help me. I don't think the steak plate would actually help me. Used to drive to Fairquest Fa Studio 1 after the meeting in the trailer. Alright, let's look at these timestamps. Gotta read the whole damn thing over. Meeting began at 12, ended at 4. 12 and 4. Jay's okay, I'm not He's dragging one leg. It's over. At 12, and at 4. Could the photo help me here? There's rehearsal. Still one. Fatigue, so I'll take me. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break. Okay. Time of death was 2.30, right? Alright. Okay. Um... Shit. Alright. So, I have one idea at least, right? One idea. Let me at least do this so I don't. So when I so when I initially fuck it up, we don't gotta come back too much. All right. Now we can say that hammer was there, right? But this is. She said they took the break at two thirty, so I don't think that would really help much. Two fifteen, four p.m. Found employee area. As a meeting in the. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's try the photo. I highly doubt this would work, but let's try the photo. Nope.
Gotta prove that she wasn't the one who ate the steak. That is fucking... Why is this so hard to me? Am I missing something really obvious? <laughs> Let's see. Fuck. Guys, tell me how obvious it is. Is it like really fucking obvious or is it something that I gotta really think on here? By the way, I'm gonna use this monkey head. Yeah, obviously not. She ate the fucking... What the hell? Took a 15 minute break in the meeting. press this, right? Didn't I press this? When exactly was that? I've forgotten. Oh yeah, I did press that. And it was useless. It will be rehearsed after I say one. It's obvious once I catch it, but not until then. Okay. What, can I fucking bluff evidence? Can I just be like, can I just be like, he was here? Still haven't used the key? Oh, you, you won Brutal Legends? Wow. Uh, contains photo of every victory scene. It's obvious once I figure it out, but not until I notice it. Alright. Alright, I'll buy that. Would it be the autopsy? It can't be the autopsy. Highly doubt. I highly doubt it would be the autopsy. Yeah. I'm trying to like match up times here. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm sorely fucking it up. Well, Nick, find anything? Yeah. Have to prove that. Alright, I'm gonna try it, right? I'm gonna assume that no one knows it's a five-year photo, but, you know, I highly doubt that would work. But it's the only thing I can think of of showing someone else at fucking, um, at this, at the fucking studio. Oh, so it's another one of those. Alright. Okay. Alright, let me see. Let me let me re-look at the evidence. Really give it like fucking time here. Chest spear. He's dragging one leg. Studio number two, October 15, 2 o'clock. The map. Studio two. Murder weapon, mended in duct tape, mended with duct tape. They were to have rehearsal, but the fucking spear was broken. Okay. Between 215, semi scrapbook. New digital camera, though he's still learning to use it. Shows incident involving hammer. Five years ago. If 
Found a table, bear jacks, hammers, fingerprints. Found employee's area on the trace sleeping pills, large bone. Use fan drive. Let's do a meeting. Details that the game doesn't bother to make note of. What the fuck? I don't know if that's a I don't know if that's good design or bad design. I'm not sure. I want to say it's good design though, because it's getting me. Shit. It's not autopsy. It's not photo. I don't think it's the map. It's not monkey head. It can't be the scrapbook or the camera. I want to try this, but I highly doubt it will work. Found a table, employees area. Alright. Could it be the van? <laughs> Highly doubt it would be the van, but could it be the van? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Definitely gonna get a game over on this one. All right, well, time to bluff it. Yeah, obviously not. Okay. It's brought up in the investigation, they just don't make note of it. All right. Shit. It's brought up in the investigation. Now I'm trying to think back to, like, what everyone else said. Prove that she wasn't there. Well, I mean, at this point, <laughs> at this point, I basically used everything on this one statement, so what's the harm in using everything else? Yeah, highly doubt that. I hate to brute force it, but fuck, man. This one's, like, really getting me, actually. Or maybe I'm just thinking of the wrong statement. That's so weird. You wanna know why I wouldn't think it's the fucking, uh, the steak plate? Because we're trying to prove her location for, um... Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it a bit, that could make sense. In my mind, I'm like, I'm trying to prove... <laughs> to me, I'm like, what is a fucking steak plate in the goddamn employee area? have to do with the steak plate in the fucking uh, other area, but I guess you can say since since everyone was eating steak, you don't know who was who, right? So I guess that makes sense. Well, I mean, it does make sense, but I guess it's the way they fucking worded it that confused me. I was so stuck on just the area. You had to use a guide for that one? Yeah, I could see, like, I can definitely see why, because I sat here for a good minute. This one, like, this one I wouldn't call bullshit on. That one's actually pretty good. The one earlier, though, that we did last time, where, like, you had to fucking press it in, like, an exact, in a specific order, that's bullshit, because the game doesn't even tell you about that. That's fucking weird. But this one, this one was actually pretty good. I like that. Ah, as I thought. You, cl you claim you ate a T-bone steak? But I say you did not. What? What is this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's... A plate. This plate was on the table in the employees area. 
As you can see, a large bone was left here. Mr. Wright, need to remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly, my point. Remember, if you will? It's fast quest and Mr. Manella ate the table outside the trailer. Ate the table? Ate at the table. Yet there was no bones left on the plate. The plates were bare. <laughs> Miss Vasquez. Tell me, how can one person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I mean, dogs kind of do it. They eat the bone. I think I know how. You ate the bone too. You ate a boneless steak. Make that shit boneless. Elementary, you were eating a boneless steak. Mr. Wright, say you were right. What would that prove? Right, your honor. Nick, remember her testimony. She said she ate a T-bone steak. She said bone. Correct. I was testing you. Yeah, sure. Sorry, can I try that one more time? I think I know how. You didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like the incinerator. Gah! I, I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Beating the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Oh, oh shit. Order. Are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. Ask Miss Vasquez, what is this fucking JoJo battle happening right now? Look at this. <laughs> I can't murder you without getting close. <laughs> As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai, and then you did it. You did it. You killed him with your own hands. <sighs> Mr. Wright, isn't it a little presumptuous? <laughs> What kind of stun are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes, that's exactly what I just said. Literally, not less than five minutes ago. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be boring at, uh, wow. <clears throat> Gotta clear my throat. Would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was the murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can say, a woman of petty st stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Well, spears are designed not to really be that heavy at all. Even a child could wield one, to be honest. But, since it's in, you know, since we're going with this... Couldn't, could you? I believe that. I think you have a great difficulty using the weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha! Huh. You see? Yes. However, that's no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. Shit! Yeah, has no one brought up the fact that it's broken? you never eaten a T-bone steak, so this honestly wouldn't cross your mind. Yeah, me neither, really. I guess... Mm. I'm trying to think. I think I have. Probably not that much my mind. Me, I personally just don't like steak. Mainly because growing up, it's like, what are we eating tonight for dinner? Steak and potatoes. It's like... I've, I had it so much that I fucking absolutely hate it now. Well, I don't hate it. It's just that... If you give me an option between turkey, chicken, fucking steak, I'm gonna choose turkey or, turkey or chicken, right? I'm not, I'm never in a steak mood, ever. What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, your honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as a murder weapon. It got duct tape. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast, Star Fox. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action run scene run-through? 
but someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who's wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Or order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence! I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. <laughs> Fucking... She has the goddamn... The symbols popping off of her. <laughs> He's just standing there... Menacingly! Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what the weapon was? I can tell you, actually! And <laughs> would I make a claim that... that I can? Wait, what? Would I make a claim that if I couldn't tell you... Wait, what the fuck? Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? Why did I fuck that up so bad? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see the murder weapon then. <laughs> Why, my friend, it's quite trivial. Look at this photo. Look at this photograph. What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, didn't expect that. Oh, shit. If I cannot have order in this trial, if I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what's this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate incident at Global Studios. This is photo of that very incident. Not a word of this was leaked out outside. Uh, was leaked to the outside. It was close. It was a closed kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case, Mr. Edgeworth? You still can't see it? See the fallen man in the photo? See how the Frank West uh, had a friend's post? Why did I fucking say a completely different word? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? Wha what? What are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? She's just standing there, menacingly. Has happened again. Huh. <sighs> Mr. Wright, continue. It was 3.30 p.m. 3.30. It was 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss DeVasquez met Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like that, Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Wait, what? Just like that, Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. What? Did I fuck that up? I completely... My mind is fucked up right now. <laughs> I completely messed that up. I know I did. Though whether she did it on purpose or accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer... He died in the same way that he caused the man to die? Five years ago? Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Ho oh, oh. ho! Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil Megastrate costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One? And returning to the trailer all in the space of 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? <laughs> Fairly simply. The break in the meeting at the trailer lasts 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed? off the stairs to his death, then carried to the Studio One and placed inside the costume. There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could you have... Okay. She couldn't deal with it. I bet she could move it. She had another way. 
What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright? Please show us how she carried the body. <laughs> Why isn't it quite simple, my dear judge? Take a look at this. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. Did she prep the body beforehand? And you used the studio van to do it. Huh? Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Mega Street costume. Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was cooperator? Fucking, of course he was, damn it! Of course Sam Manella has. Uh, fuck. Has to be a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done all that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in the same incinerator. In the same incinerator? The small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez? Shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmm. I lose. You win. It was fun. I... I win. Um... So, what happens next? Don't, <laughs> me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like for me to say? I would like for you to say, Mr. Phoenix Wright, your attorney's badge is so brilliant and shiny today. I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer? Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did it, Mr. Wright? We're just engaged in a battle of wits. And the results of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right? But that's only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order! Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, uh, um... Uh, of course, it is what the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. <sighs> what do I do now? Did it, Vasquez. Testify again. No further questions. Testify again. I'd like for you to testify again. Testify? Again? Now, no one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Ugh. You ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Come so far only to fail? As it seems, there's no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. <laughs> That guy. Oh, man. 
Holy shit. Wow. I see. Very well. A second! Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. Are you the prosecutor or are you not? Why are you... Why are you... Bad? <laughs> why are you begrudging me? I'm your witness. I'm just... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Mr. Honor? Mr. Honor? Your Honor? I don't see that. <laughs> Fuck, I'm just... I'm just flustered right now. My man said, I thought I would come up with a test... With a... With something to say. I didn't. I don't see what we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth? I too see little point in making Miss Fastquest repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Hmm. Well, yes, um... Indeed. Verily, I say. Ergo. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. <sighs> Nick. Why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He's probably realized she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one that said he always gets his guilty verdict? I mean, that stopped the first time I went against him in court, so he don't always get it no more. After all that, Edgeworth. Hey, my man's looking for true justice. I was with Sal and Old Bash, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Power showed up. The security lady, Old Bax, was quite agitated, pointing at Power, saying, HE DID IT! I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Okay. Hmm. I see no issues ra raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination? Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now. But if you put her words on the spot, she'll sure to falter. Find the key you need to twist the truth out of her neck. Right. Time to start pressing. Like I'm at the gym, just fucking pressing it. Alright. Well, they found the body. The assistant was there too. Only powers was absent. The assistant was there. Wasn't she in the back? Press that. Miss Powers. Uh, Miss Powers. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember? Remember what? There was a dead body laying in front of us. Yet you expect me to be calm? You certainly seem calm, although when I accused you <laughs> seem calm enough when I accused you of murder. Alright, press harder. Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murder body, and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on that one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers didn't really, uh, doesn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting location. No one, no one noticed he was missing. What do you mean he don't stand out? My dude's a fucking giant. Poor Powers. Well, I suppose that explains it. Very well, Miss Vasquez. You may continue. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. Okay. Security later all bags was at city point and Powers saying he did it. Ashby left out of proceedings. And why was that? You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in the meeting. There was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you. Or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot riding on this. Well, those big woods at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they did Require, uh, they didn't require questioning. Hmm. Okay. Then I went home. I believe then you went home. I believe that part. 
The script and your direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. Uh, it wouldn't. Uh, fuck. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. Yeah, I read that right. By the way, I call bullshit on that because she had me go look for the script. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring the script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Who would think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well. Ms. Vasquez, please continue. Objection! Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez says she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She knew ahead of time. She would have had known about the murder before going to Studio One. Huh? <laughs> Fucking Edgeworth with the level three assist coming out of nowhere. Order, Mr. Edgeworth. What? What you have just said? is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of career changing <laughs> are you thinking of a career change to the defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe that's what's helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any th couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. How'd you know he was injured? No one knew he was injured besides him and the fucking guard. How? How did I know? Sal! Sal didn't even know he was injured. He told me. Sal the director? He wasn't even- I don't even think he was there during the rehearsal. Was he? During like the morning run through? You have to be- uh, you have to find something to peg- uh, uh, peg this on her. Where everything's done and Everything we've done till nine will be waste. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him! Hmm. Right. Let's get back to that statement. I asked to be left out of proceedings. Went back to the trailer, got my squint. The new hammer was injured. Oh yeah? Okay. Your new hammer was injured. Let me just save so I don't fuck it up. Because I feel like I'm gonna fuck it up. I always feel like I'm gonna fuck it up. Alright. Present. Let's see. Dragging his leg. Murder weapon, digital camera, shows hammer, found a table. Let's use the photo. You knew that hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. Huh? What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo, but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pre pretending One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? <clears throat> I already said it. It was Sal that told me. That's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manello was at the was at the morning eh, was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happened. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. You saw Hammer limping. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammers was dragging his leg too. 
He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Huh. And when he was doing this? Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to the studio went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez. You met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. And that's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. M Masaka. Order! Order! I will have order! Witness? Can you refute this claim? Hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Huh? Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he fell on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing! Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on that matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Of course I can prove it. Okay. I have proof, and I'll show it to you. I present court evidence at, uh, wait. I present to the court evidence Miss Vasquez's motives and murder. Her motive. Her motive. Her motive is this! Ha! Psst, Maya, look at this! Huh? Why? Why are you showing that to me, Nick? And why are you whispering? Why? Why are you whispering? I was just testing it out on you. Huh? Well, I'm afraid your test results are negative. Mr. Wright! Y yes, Your Honor? Hurry up with it! We have a certain tempo we have to maintain here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Your Honor. Right, here goes. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, Pattern. I would believe that the reason she would kill him was just to get that show canceled. Maybe. I don't think I lost any health for that either. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in the murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Huh. <sighs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible incident was swept under the rug. Ladies and gentlemen, the case is currently up for trial. It began on the day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident part wait what? Per precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. Precipitated? Did I say that right? I think so. Precipitated? His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hmm. Bringing us to the present day in Mr. Hammer's last role as evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant, constant sort of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We're talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I have never get rid of a useful man. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. She had no motive. Reveal evidence. Okay. Allow me to present to the court evidence proving her motive. She didn't like steak. That's why she killed him. 
Mm. It has to be the scrapbook. It has to be the scrapbook. It's gotta be the scrapbook. Monkey head. Scrapbook, huh? This is my proof. And this tells us why Miss Vasquez wanted to kill Mr. Hammer. I say all that proves is that the defense attorney has completely lost his marbles. Ugh. Mr. Wright, the court requests that you find your marbles immediately. And I'm afraid I have to penalize you for this. Damn it! Nick, we're so close. Think this one through, please. I'll act you again. Don't worry, we'll be as close as we always need, Maya. We got this. A little button here called save. Let's do that. The motive for murder. She had no motive? I would assume her motive would be like... No, not to get the show cancelled because source of income. I'll try it one more time. Alright. I highly doubt the monkey head would do anything. Um... New digital camera code he always carried. Still learning to use it. I don't think there... There might not be a motive. For some reason, the camera's suspicious to me. So is the monkey head. I'm gonna use camera. This is my proof. And so, yeah, absolutely not. Could it possibly be this? She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It was simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? 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 Your Honor. Jackhammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jackhammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jackhammer wore the costume to fool the security leader into thinking it was Powers. Then Jackhammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. So, you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call in the ambulance! There's blood everywhere! We're too late! Did she slit her fucking stomach? Ah, uh, Miss Vasquez! What? What happened here? Manuel fell from the, sta from the trailer stairs. Wait, what? Oh, I guess she's having a flashback. I thought she, because she's part of the Mafia, I thought she like slit her stomach right there in court somehow. I'm like, what? Manuel! Manuel! Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No. No. How could this... It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No. Manuel! Manuel! Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No! Please. Please don't die. Please. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Again. Mr. Edgeworth, where's Steve Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. 
Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes. Yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. Hey, we did it. That is all. This court is adjourned. October 20th, 112 p.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but... It's sad. I know that Mr. Power stole my... Mr. Power? Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Ms. Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder? It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Show evidence. Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wants to blame you because... Because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once. But he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and the villain to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So I am. So, oh, so I am? So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into this sweaty costume, man. Oh, he doesn't know that the show's been canceled? Thanks for the congratulations. There were some tough parts in there, not gonna lie. But all I know is the one bullshit part that I'm willing to call bullshit on was just like the double pressing thing. That was bullshit. Huh? Is something wrong? N no, of course not. Uh, Nick, that's worth. What's he doing? He's just standing there, menacingly. Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. <laughs> You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No. I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if it hadn't been for you and your meddling... <laughs> and your mutt, too. These meddling kids and their fucking mutt. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Uh, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar! Right? I must say, I had expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better if we had not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddened with an unnecessary feelings. Hey, I'm appreciative, Edgeworth, but I don't move that type of way, you know what I mean? Unless. <laughs> unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kinds aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. And that's what I came here to tell you. It's kind of impossible to do. Mr. Wright? Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if. They're rivals. Rivals, right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? <laughs> if it hadn't been for his detective, too. Yeah. <laughs> you meddling prosecutor. 
and you're fucking detective too. <laughs> and so the and so the curtain uh, fuck I can't read. And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing the accident five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Oh my fucking god. Nick! This is... The new show starts today. You're gonna watch with me, right? I admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and, and the assistant. Fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. He gets to play the lead again. Is he playing the princess? I don't know. I don't think the world's ready for the reveal. Well, Powers. He's playing the princess? What the fuck? Cool. A brand new episode has been added. That was fun. So if I remember correctly, apparently there was... There was, a uh, episode 4 hype, it seems. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a pretty good, uh, case coming up. What the fuck? fuck is this? It's been what? 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered? But now, the perfect opportunity was present. It's, has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. No! December 25th, 10.08 a.m. Right in Colon office. Hey, hey, Nick. Do you know if there's any, do you know if there's any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? I dare I ask. Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under, preferably a freezing one. Huh? Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course. Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Hmm. Okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but... But them's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea! So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news... A large unidentified animal was sighted in Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy! And tips and tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Though its namesake, Nessie, proves to be a hoax, locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Uh, <laughs> it's widely considered one of the best in the series. Really? On the first game? Oh, that's really, that's really impressive, actually. I don't know, well, is it impressive, or does that mean, <laughs> is that like, then it's all downhill from here? <laughs> like, goddamn. Yeah, I'm boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? Hmm? The water pressure is kind of low in the shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? That's... That's not smart. You shouldn't do that. Not only for the fact of just axing the waste resources, but also... You get really hurt. Good idea, Nick. Apparently, Fay Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you Courage, the Cowardly Dog, <laughs> to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time, it's Moida. Gord Lake again. The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. 
A suspect was apprehended. Source inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. He was thrown... Has he thrown it all away? Hmm? Uh, Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yes, M Maya! The fireman yelled at me when I called him. <laughs> We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Whom? Why? How? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. What do we do? Well, what should we do? What do you mean? Let's, let's investigate. We should talk to Mr. Edgeworth and check out a crime scene. You're right. We need more information. Save aimless and confusion for later. Save aimless aimlessness. Well, got any good ideas? Not really. I do my best thinking when I'm standing uh, when I'm standing underneath a waterfall. All right. I know what will get you to think. Yeah. I can't show it to her. I can't. It won't let me show it to her. Oh yeah, present. Duh. Yeah. You know, I think he's developing a nice luster. I'll look at your badge later, Nick. We got work to do. I suppose you're right. No, I'm sad now. One day you will... You will... One day you will understand the glory of this badge. Detention Center, Gort Lake Entrance. Well, let's head to the Detention Center first. December 25th, Detention Center. Visitor's Room. You know, Nick, we've all been here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to many people. Aha! Hey, Edgeworth, come back! What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. I wouldn't be either. Why would he be- why is he in detention? Why are you, were you in a good mood when you were here? So, you come to laugh at the fallen attorney? Then laugh. Laugh! Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Maybe a little bit. Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad or burst into tears. Edgeworth, why don't we have so much free time? Wait, what? Why? Why don't? Eh, we don't have much free time. To we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Hmm? Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. We get no cases ever. <laughs> I love how the game expects you to. Shit. Sorry, I fucked up. I love how the game expects you to do that and prepare for it. Yeah. What, to do what? Show my badge? <laughs> Fucking... I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. Hey, Edgeworth. I know what will cheer you up. Your attorney's badge? Edgeworth? Let me defend you. Huh. <laughs> Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What, what do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet-behind-the-ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid I lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Oh, that feels bad. Oh, he's wearing the frill. Yeah, that's what I meant. Well, 
It's more like tucked in, but that's pretty much what I meant. Yeah, definitely. I forgot who I was, who I was making fun of when I was talking about that. Yeah, but... What the fuck is that? Is it... Would it be considered an ascot? Fuck. I don't... I don't know. So what happened, man? Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? Why are you going... What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey. Sure, you got lucky and won all three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick? Why am I always the one who has to get angry? <laughs> Daphne's dad? Yeah. Yeah, he has that too. I was making fun of Daphne's dad. I was, yeah. But... I was making fun of him, but I was using him as an example. I forgot what I was using him as an example for, though. I don't remember. I really don't. <laughs> the, uh, the murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes. Late last night. The latest long... Oh, wow. I need a sip of my water. My fucking... My goddamn mouth and throat are getting all fucked. Also, remember earlier when I said I didn't eat shit? And I'm probably gonna feel like shit later? I'm hungry as fuck right now. Stupid hungry. The lake is a long way from your office in the courthouse. Why are you down here? Why, why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth. You... You didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? Did you, did you do it? Did you do it? Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask. But you didn't do it, right? Right? You didn't, you didn't do it. Think what you will. You're really not helping me, Edgeworth. You're really not helping me here, man. Take your pride. Put it on a wall for a moment. See this pen here? See this pen? Take your pride. Stick it on a wall. Leave that there. We'll come back to it later. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick. Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya! Let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick. The guard, monitor, uh, the guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch since it came in. A real pro. <laughs> that guy. Alright, well. To the lake. I was making fun of rich people clothes in general. Probably, yeah. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> you know, stuck up rich types. December 25th, Gord Lake Park entrance. This is where it happened. Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal. There's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? So sorry sir. Nothing. Idiot. The trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. But but sir. <laughs> there were there weren't any clues. They they were arrested. Wait, what? That's why they arrested the attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one. Shut up. Just you try to say something again. I'll... I'll make you sorry if you... if you do. So just... just get out of my face, pal. Y yes sir! Detective Gumshoe is kinda scared today. Recruits! Pah! Ugh! 
Hey, you're that hairy guy, hairy butts. Right, Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Huh? Well, yeah, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it! He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh. You, you don't say. Don't worry, cheer up, gumshoe. That badge! You're showing that to the wrong guy, pal. You gotta show that to someone who needs it. Man, I never thought about it that way. You're right. What is truth, Justice, if I don't show it to the people who need the justice? Detective Gumshoe? Do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No? Wow, okay. Mr. Head in the f Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Cloud Lawyer. Wait, what? Head in the Fluffy Pink Cloud Lawyer. Head in the... What? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on the lake. In the boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth. A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the reporters came in, we raced to the lake. When the reporters, when the report came in, a witness. You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. R right. Who cares what the witness says? I care! You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's really talk nobody's really taking this inves eh, investigation that seriously. Oh no. After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. Is it true? No one will take Edward's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation uh, your reputation be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. And I suppose it would be I suppose it was eh, I suppose it would if they had a witness. Hey, Bao, don't tell me you're gonna turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you to get your client declared innocent. I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have, <laughs> you should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, right. Right, over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. The witness. Who is this witness? Ugh, sorry, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up in the trial tomorrow. Was there only the one witness? Eh, yeah, couldn't, couldn't even speak correctly. <laughs> yep, it was pretty cold out there and last... Uh, fuck. <laughs> it was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're gonna turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we came up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I forgot. What are you getting for me? <laughs> what are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. Detective Gumshoe, sure. Yeah. What? Find something? Um, no, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right. I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me before I head back? Yes. 
autopsy report, please. Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? I'm sorry. They haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually, say, if you get the time to drop by the precinct, we can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Um, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Uh, you're right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see. Yeah, come down to see me anyways. Anymore, anyways, somehow. I fucking skipped it. Directions to the police station received from Detective Gumshoe. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. W what? Um, we'd like to take a look around the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to talk. Uh, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right. Now let's get investigating. Okay. This is the most weirdest sign ever. The sign says Gord Lake, nature park. The place is full of families picnicking on the weekend, but no waterfall. Not many pic not many picnickers come here for spiritual training, Maya. I feel winter's chill from the bare leaf trees today. What is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. Yes, my poetry has that effect on some people. Also, is she wearing, like, shoes? Or is she wearing, like, little sandal things? In winter. Huh. Samurai dogs? I can go for a hot dog right now. I'm pretty hungry, actually. Wowers! Oh, that's amazing. I instantly love that word now. Wowers. That's great. This is Gort Lake. Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a wowers, though. Hmm. Probably not. But hey, look at the snack stand. Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog. Please. It better be great. I bet they're great. With the name like samurai dogs, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know. Nope. I don't know. Alright, examine. What's this? Party poppers? Someone left some poppers here. You know, pull the string, and it goes... Yeah, you know the one? You see them a lot, you see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick, there might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? Poppers. Hmm. Of course I'm going to take them. They're mine. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my pocket. Wow! You fucking... You fucking thief. <laughs> you think sandals, but it's not 100% sure. I would assume so. I'm trying to remember, like, her character model from Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I believe she wears sandals, at least. Alright, samurai dogs. A hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fridge... Fridge? Fringe? <laughs> the Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads, Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to re redecorate. Hmm. Check the lake. Wow, Gord Lake's really big. Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Wow, no way. I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd view from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well... It is shaped like a gourd, actually, but there's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. In the garbage? The trash can's empty. At least the place is well maintained. Benches? A lineup of plastic benches. I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here? I doubt anyone would sit here and eat it on a day like this. Except maybe Maya, if she had a samurai dog. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> the fucking <laughs> the UI gets in the way. Alright. I didn't know that was a physical object. Fucking Phoenix just walking around carrying a UI bar with him. There's no way. There's no way that's the only... There's nothing else here? The sign? 
Huh? I almost didn't see that signpost. Left, boat docks, right exit. Oh, well then let's head to the boat docks. Woods, boat rental shop. December 25th, boat rental shop. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Close to Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder takes place. No one on, uh, no one on the boats. Wow. On one of the boats, won't be good for business, either. Boats? i never written on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on... Wow. I'm having a hard time reading. <laughs> well, how about we go out on one when the trial's finished? Hey, good idea, you bet. You bet? I said that way fast. I said that too fast. It fucked it up. It fucked up the pacing. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone's around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. There are some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder? I wonder. Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go on a boat ride. What? You think I'm going to kill you or something? Way to shoot my confidence. What? What's this over here? There's more forest off that way. I doubt I find any helpful clues in there. I don't know, maybe someone threw away the gun or something. Nothing else, it seems. The lake? No, I guess we're good here. Huh. Now, what is this? Gord Lake. Woods. Oh, picnic. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They got guts camping at a scene of a murder. Hey, hey Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. What you cooking up in here? Hey Nick. What, don't tell me you're hungry again? No! I was just wondering why our camper's pots and pans are made of aluminum. I guess because it's easier to heat up? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So there's no... <clears throat> there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum then? I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> this SUV has been... has seen better days. It's dented all over. I can't believe anyone would drive this car down here. There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty... Uh, Takes a pretty tough skin to camp out in this cold. Yeah, I guess. Now this piques my interest. This camera has a mic of some sort attached to it. It's a shotgun mic, right? It, may, it makes taking pictures... Oh, wow. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey! I'm Nick! Hmm? Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it! Maybe it isn't set to respond to a voice. Well, what then? Uh, well, what? Eh. Well, what? What then? These things? The party poppers? Bang! Click, 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 click. Oh, shit. <laughs> well? It responded. Oh! Hey, you! Get your hands off of that! Yeah. What in the Sam hell? Look. What have you done now? Wait, what? Look what you done now. You got a whole roll of film. There goes a whole roll of film. Huh? What? Uh, sorry. Sorry it's nice. But don't pay- <laughs> But don't pay my bills. You know how much a roll of film costs? I'll pay you back. What are you talking about? So, wait, what? What are you thinking, setting off a potty popper in a place like this? Huh? Well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me, just cause you think I'm some country bumpkin. I'm, I'm assuming she's probably supposed to have like a Osaka type accent, you know what I mean? She probably sound like Joey Wheeler from fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know how, wow. <clears throat> I know how y'all Yanks think. I say those southern folk. I say those southern folks talk with an exaggerated drawl. Why they must be dumb. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb, don't mean we all are. 
Wow. She admitted it. N Nick, help. And who are you now? Your chap- your chaperone? Her chaperone? Yeah. Uh, no, rather, well, sort of friends? Just figure out what you're gonna say and say it- <laughs> Say it for bejesus' sakes? What? God, I'd rather sit down in one of those Papa's drawers than listen to your shlutter- Shlutter? Sh- What? Your shutter? All day? Oh boy. <laughs> shlutter. <laughs> what? It's not even a word. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay her later. I'm really sorry. Ma'am? Maybe this will get you to calm down. I, uh, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't our badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You cop or something? It is shiny. And it is impressive. Um, I'm a lawyer. What? You ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits or on me over that film. Because I have you know, I'm a fighter. And I wrestle... Wrestle? <laughs> and I'll wrestle... What? Is that how, is that how, is that the past, is that, eh, I can't speak. Is that how you're supposed to spell the past tense of wrestled, or is that just like an accent of hers? I'm guessing it's an accent. I wrestle meaner looking things than you. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Hmm. Sounds cool. I like this chick a lot. I like her. She's cool. I like her a lot. Why didn't you say all the- why didn't you say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally! Some cooperation! You two? You come on- uh, what? You can come out of hiding now. I won't bite. Hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya go? Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. What? The culture gap? Maya, you're from the fucking mountains! Shouldn't you know a lot about the countryside? Never you mind, honey. I can talk- wait, what? Oh, I can talk to Yanks if you- wow. I can talk Yank for you if you, um, if it pleases you. Thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm- I'm lot of- lot of heart. Yeah, she got a lot of heart, all right. But you can call me Lotta. I'm here for talk- wow. I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research project. Project. Mighty pleased to meet you. Good to know that this attorney badge is serving me well, as it should. Oh yeah, when was the murder anyways? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so? Christmas Eve. A man on the boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat? I say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember- Wait, what? <laughs> to choke a mule? Alright. Kinda hard to remember which I've seen when. Why don't you just check the camera since it reacts to sound? I'm pretty sure the bang of a fucking gun would, you know, take it off. So what is- <laughs> So what is- Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> So what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? I do a lot of things! Ha 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 ha! You don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U. Right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat! Nick, she's a research student at the University of Country U. Uh, so I hear. So, when did you come up here? Mm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What about you photography? Photography? Photographing. I didn't... I didn't tell you that already. Meteors. Yeah, meteor showers. Fallen stars? <laughs> I guess you took a picture of a fallen star, right? Bada ching! Got him. Got him. Got him. Uh, it's worth your fuck. That's quite a camera you have there. Also, I love how she's like, you gotta pay... This is character I love part... Probably because it's supposed to be my people. <laughs> I'm one with the people. Yes. Um... I love how she's like, you gotta pay me for film, but she didn't react when Maya kicked the fucking camera. 
fucking animals, I swear. Uh, that's quite a camera you have there. You, you better Wow. Ugh, can't read. Y'all better know it. It's German-made. A genuine sl well, I'm not even... Mm. Salingen? Saligan? Isn't that where they make knives? Hmm. So, what's the device you have stuck in the camera? Huh? Device? So your camera went off all by itself when I fired the party popper. Oh, that? That mic triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera? Neat. A lot of camera added. Got a lot of pictures. That's what I'm talking about. I guess that's it. I shall present you with your own camera. Lada? Yeah? So your camera, it triggers a loud explosion noise. Wait, it triggers a loud explosion noise? It triggers on loud explosion noise. Uh, yep. Actually, the victim in the case researching was firing a... Uh, uh, researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera, did it get a picture of the murder, did it? Mm. Hey! You're pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, have a look-see on my film. It would have been a photo taken last night. I check them once, don't remember if there's anything on them though. But, if I got something, I, I could be a witness in the genuine murder. Ye Yeehaw. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> that was the least enthusiastic yeehaw I ever did in my life. I'll go check the film. It'll come back now, you hear? I feel like... The only time I really, like, went up against a fucking genuine country accent is, like, when I went to, uh... I went to, like, a country buffet. And... <laughs> I kid you not, it was, like, really thick country accent. Ladies like, Oh, y'all having a great time now down here? I'm like, oh, shit. What? <laughs> she went inside her SUV. I guess she should come back later. Alright. Maybe someone's at the rental shop? No. Nope. Guess we'll go see Detective Gumshoe. I had to stretch my back. I just fucking cracked like all the bones in my body. Still stretching. Alright. Okay, stretching is done now. December 25th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in the meeting. Hey. Thanks for coming down, pal. Detective Gumshoe. We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I guess the feelings... I guess the feelings were in for some bad news. I guess the feelings? I get the feelings. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No. Still can't ID him. Has Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. <laughs> that was yet another yawn of mine. So, how did the meeting go? Can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edwards, humans like me or you. Still, I get the feeling that he's done something wrong. He wouldn't be, uh, he wouldn't go hiding it. It's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think Edwards did it. Well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Hmm. Hey. In the end, you did tell him about the meeting. You did tell us about the meeting. Huh? Don't go tell anyone else, pal. Yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help. And you're the one to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe. How come you trust Edwards so, so much? Well... I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yet, his defendants. Did I read that right? Mm. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, his methods he might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. I gotta earn that trust he placed in us. I see. Mr. Edwards is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get the autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. There you go, time of death. Sometime 24th, 25th. One bullet to the heart. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Hmm. That face. Someone you know? Don't say it's your father. I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I might have seen him somewhere a long time ago. Alright. Uh, I don't think he'll get much out of that, would he? Maybe. Sorry, drawing a blank here. Alright. I thought maybe it'd be like, here, I have a hint on some evidence. Oh, looks different from the DS version? Yeah, this is the, um, this is the, uh, HD trilogy that we're playing. It's actually really, like, I looked at, a, I looked at the comparison for it. It's actually really smooth. It's on par with, um, with the Zero Escape. That, that, uh, HD version? Because that, if you ever played 999, it looks really fucking smooth. It looks really good. Uh, let's see. I think we're done here. I'm gonna head... I want to talk to Edgeworth again, but I think we might have something back at the park. Maybe she's developed her film by now. December 25th, Gort Lake, Woods. Hey, y'all. Lada. Wait up a sec. We got a bingo. Bingo? My, my automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey. This is them. Take a look. Wait. See? See? He's shooting him with a pistol. It looks like that, yes. I never seen someone so happy about murder. It's like, can you see that? He's getting shot. That's crazy, man. But you can't really tell who did the shooting. Yeah. Well, there was enough fog out there last night. Stra uh, strangle... Oh, wow. Strangle... Eh, I can't read! To strangle a bullfrog. But you know, seeing those photos remind me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. Huh? Are you serious? Of course. How'd you forget? Never mind. You reckon I should tell the cops? Actually, I want you to be my ace in the hole. So, sadly, I'm gonna say no. I reckon no. What's that? I don't tell you you can pull one over on me just because you speak that lingo. I know enough to know that when you see a murder, you best tell the cops. It's my obligation as a citizen. You're right about that. But you could be my ace in the hole on this trial. So I'm off to talk to the cops. You can have this photo. Later. What about the second photo? Wait! Lada! What? Can you see I'm kinda busy? Tell us what you saw, too, please. Hmm. Nice try, honey. But I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. I soon eat the south side of north bound sunk than- What? I soon eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Okay. Lada. Don't let it- don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Thanks for the follow, man. I very, I very, I very, I was gonna say I very appreciate it. I highly appreciate it. What the hell is wrong with me? All right, uh, or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. I'm out of here. Hmm. Oh. Oh, did something happen to the stream? Because <laughs> I remember last night fucking someone unplugged my modem and the stream went off. I didn't get any notification for it. Seems like it's fine, though. 
Hey, maybe, maybe they'll let me do something, uh, fucking shit, I can't read it. <laughs> maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. Hot darn. What? She left. Did she ever show me the second photo? Well, that's one more witness. What do, what do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Taken automatically on the 25th at 12.15. Alright. I think... I think I have enough evidence to where I can probably show it to Edgeworth and maybe get him to be like, Alright, you can be my defense. I'm hoping, at least. Oh, what's going on here? Public bench. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey. Oh my god, it's Santa. Oh, Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Who the fu- No way. No way. Is this Harry? Nick? You know Santa? Wow. Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me! Damn it! Larry! I called him Harry. Why did I call him Harry? Fucking gumshoe. <laughs> it's the butts! What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. You want one? Gotta get money for the dates. You know, my girl Kiant. Wait, what? Kiant? <laughs> Am I saying that right? Kiant? Is it Kiant? It's supposed to be Kiant? Kiantse? It's supposed to be Kiantse like fiance? Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> I'm gonna assume it's Kiantse. My girl Kiantse deserves it. Kiantse? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Keontae is a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was like, you go, girl. Wait, what? She was all you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Oh yeah, he hasn't met Maya before. Nick, who's she? She's not your... She is 17? No, she is not my girlfriend. Give it a year. It'll be legal then. <laughs> no, my, my what? No, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I, um, I'm the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick, must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister? No, not, not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh? Sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. Nick. Nick. Why did I call him Nick? I'm Nick. Fucking Larry. Check this out. Huh? Well, that's your attorney's badge, isn't it? Dude, you really held me out back in that trial. Sorry, I can't really pay you. Because you blow it all on Keontae. <laughs> Somehow Larry gets models. Yeah, I know. He's a goofy guy. But... You can have all the dogs you want. R really? Wow, Maya, you jumped at the chance immediately. Larry, if you let her have your dogs, you won't have any left for the other customers. And <laughs> no problem. Is that what makes her happy, you know? My man, I think my simp radar is going off for a moment. Like Beyonce? Oh, see, I thought it was supposed to be like fiance. Oh, okay, Beyonce. Yeah, okay, I definitely see it. How many times do I have to remind you that it was me who got you off the hook? Yeah, I still haven't gotten any, like, present from fucking Larry. You son of a bitch. Alright. So what happened? Hey Larry, there was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keontae, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. Larry, were you standing out here in the cold? I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, no it's just... Keontae's not in town right now. She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyways, there was a murder on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh? Neat. 
All the money goes to Keonse? Yeah, he is a simp. <laughs> working a hot dog stand. <laughs> How's the dude working a hot dog stand? <laughs> it's a model. Makes no sense. Neat. The defiant, the defiant, the defendant is Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that Miles Edgeworth? Old Edgy. Yeah, he is a murder suspect. Whoa, murder. Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Samurai dogs. Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why, why are they samurai dogs? I mean, they kind of look gourd shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs, you know, like gourd dogs. Oh, youch. The samurai thing was Kianse's idea. Wait, does she own the hot dog stand? Are you working for her? That's, that's the literal definition of simp. <laughs> the samurai thing was Keonze's idea. Oh, she, oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. She made me the banner. Man, the, kid, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Uh, something about that just seems wrong. Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess so. Phoenix shouldn't push it to remember what happened to the last person he paid. Oh, shit. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lakes with, uh, with the big news. The big news? Yeah, Gordy. G Gordy? What about Gordy? Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here. It's in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster. Gordy. A monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is the article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow. It's really real. Nick. A monster? A real monster? Hmm? Yeah. It's probably just a log or something. Hey. There's a quote here from the paper who... From the paper? From the person who took the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic and when it got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion. Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Is that possibly the... Hmm. Is, that could possibly be... I highly doubt it, but it can possibly be just someone's hand sticking out the fucking water. You know, the guy who died. Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like that in an explosion? Nah, it probably wouldn't. No, it couldn't be the murder. Now that I think about it. Larry, can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Gordy's article added to the court records. All right, Edgeworth. So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry. Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Well, if you don't know, now you know. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of sticking in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like a father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Defense lawyer? Then why is he a prosecutor? Wow. Wait. You said defense lawyer. Yeah? Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a pro... A pro... What? A probiscus on his knee? No, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like a total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh? Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who weren't able to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? 
I'm assuming Phoenix does, though. Okay, why are you twitching? Why is he sweating? <laughs> why is he sweating? Makes no sense. Alright, well, I'm assuming this is all there is to it. I don't think there's anything else I can tell him about. Does, does this ring a bell to you? What, what's this? You know my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Actually, the photo's blurry, Larry. It was taken last night. Last night? Okay, so I guess he knows nothing about that then. Alright, well thanks, Larry. I guess I'll be going. I'll head to Edgeworth now. I'll check the rental shop one more time. Alright, no one's here. I didn't mean to click examine. There we go. Move. Uh, where am I going? Entrance. Heading back to detention center. Can't talk to him because he left me. Santa costume must be hot if he's sweating that much. Yeah, but he's in the middle of winter. He's standing in the park in the middle of winter near a lake. It can't be that hot. Alright, well I guess I can't talk to Edgeworth. Maybe I'll head back to Gumshoe? December 25th, uh, Police Department Criminal Affairs. Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Oh, my bad. This is the police talking. Apparently, an important witness turned up. He'll be there in a while. A lot of heart. Has to be. Oh, oh no. <laughs> They're in California, so it's cool. They're in California? Why did I say it like that? Ugh. They're in California? Really? I didn't know that. I just always assumed they were, like, somewhere in, like, Tokyo or some shit. Alright, um... I guess there's nothing for me to do then. Maybe head back to the detention center? No. Uh... The office. What is it? Oh. Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report one more time? Oh, what's bothering you? How fucking vague it is? Hey, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, for old time's sake. Sure. This should cheer you up. Here you go. You know, I think it's developing a nice luster. Okay, nothing changed. Damn it! I was hoping there would be new dialogue. Fuck! Alright. To Grossberg, then. Uh, let's see. What makes this even funnier is apparently he makes more money than Phoenix. <laughs> Can afford to take girl on dates. Yeah, really. Well, Phoenix always, like, he's always has to pay the rent for everything, right? All these bills he gotta pay, and he never gets any cases. December 25th, Grossberg's Law Offices. Ahem! Ah, the old familiar clearing of the throat. Uh, did you never get your painting back? Is it still at fucking Blue Corp? Come on, man. <laughs> You're Mia's something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes, Phoenix Wright. Ah, and you. You're my, uh, Mia's something, too, are you not? Yeah, her little sister. You've grown. You come to look a lot like your sister, you know. It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. That the scent, that the scent of fresh lemon you see. Wait, what? Oh, like the scent of fresh lemon you see. Hmm, Mr. Grossberg, sir. Hmm? Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it, then? Something the matter? What happened? The painting? Yeah, how the fuck? What, what happened to your painting? Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I don't think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's m my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I uh, just got up, you see. 
Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. I guess he had... I guess he hadn't heard anything. Alright. Well, let's present him with... Oh. Do I not get the picture from the autopsy report? Well, maybe I'll just hand him the autopsy report. Yeah, there you go. Shouldn't the picture be, like, separate evidence? Alright, whatever. Hmm, strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ugh! Did you remember? He was a lawyer, here in my office. That's Hammett, Robert Hammett. Mr. Hammett. And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth saw? Is it possible that... No, no, never mind. Fucking Phoenix would have said something. I was gonna say, is it possible that it's his, it's uh, Edgeworth's father? But I highly doubt that. Um... Now talk to me about Mr. Hammond. Who's this Hammond guy anyways? Mr. Hammond? He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. Oh, we're all going full circle. Okay. Alright. He mentions that he has difficulty paying rent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. DL6. Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fay, your mother contacted the spirit of the victim. But, the case was at a loss. No, con no conviction was made. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago, a very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to change, uh, led to charge, uh, led, led, led to charges being laid against old one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. Hmm. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out, then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, it, yes, yes, quite. Thank you. No. Please, don't mention it. DL6. I never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait. What does the case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL, inc DL? DL6 incident was none other than his father, Georgie Edward. Oh, shit. Georgie? Gregory. My bad. Wh what? His father. If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Misty Fay has been added. Ooh. Ooh. Is he paying rent for two places since he doesn't live? Yeah, that's, see, that's what I was saying. <laughs> it's like, of course he's broke. He has all these bills he has to pay. Mr. Grossberg, are you aware that I am indeed an attorney? You've really grown up in the past few years, my dear. How proud Mia would be if she could see you now. She said she was more worried about me than... Wait, what? She said she was more worried about me than anything. Aw, just go on and take the compliment, will you? Alright. Thanks, Grossberg. You helped out. Why did I click talk? Did not mean to do that. To the detention center. Edgeworth, get your ass out here. What is it? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? Mm. It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Well, now you shall talk to me, Edgeworth. Take a look at this! Hmm. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you made incredible progress in your investigation. I admit, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. And 
that's why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. I wanted to keep you in the down low, as they say. <laughs> so, did you still did you still think it would? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer the best of my abilities. Hell yeah. The DL6 incident. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. Much like the photo of you shooting the guy. <laughs> I suppose I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, I suspect a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name Robert Hammond that cleared, sus cleared? That cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now this? About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago. On December 28th. December 28th? The stat... Wow, the statue? Ugh. The statute of limitations on the case runs out of three... Oh, fuck. Runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick? What does that mean? When a case sta... Wow. When a case statute of limitations runs out, leg legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. Damn, Edgeworth. You got some shit going on. Larry's making a lot of money from his jobs, and he's spending a lot of money on those dates. Need to know how. Need to perfect the secret art of simping. What happens to the, su what happens to the suspect, the one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'll be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he's going into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect for such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it. Alright. Tell me about... this. Hmm? Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth? Did you shoot him? What do you think, right? Motherfucker, can you just answer the fucking question, man? You gotta be like this. I don't think you're the kind of point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. Go on. Please do go on, sir. I know. You want us to defend you. Maya, let him say it. God damn it. Yes. Will you? Fuck no! No, I'm kidding. I will. Of course I will. Oh, could you have guessed this day? Oh, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. It's my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh? My letter of request? Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Well, I guess we should. Hmm? What is it? Earthquake? Nick! It's a big one! Oh shit. It's calming down. Phew! That was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in the ball sh shit. <laughs> he crawled up in the floor. Wow. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I haven't heard of running, but curling in the ball? 
Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Ashworth doesn't seem like he's gonna stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Oh, right. We have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Aw, oh, nothing new. I thought it was gonna be like, even though the earthquake was happening, the guard didn't move whatsoever. <laughs> Give us one straight answer, Edgeworth. Fuck no. <laughs> like, Edgeworth, can you just give it to me straight? No, I won't. I refuse. Um, where am I going again? I gotta take a drink of my water. My throat is like on fire. This is what happens when you talk non-stop for hours at a time. Oh my god, like one side of my throat is like burning. What's going on here? Eh? What's wrong, detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. She says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? No, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't go around covering up evidence. Ugh. You trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Don't worry, calm down. Here, look at this. Hey, pal, there's only one thing I want to see from you. And that's a letter of request from Mr. Edgeworth. Are you... For you to be his defense attorney. Okay, damn. Calm down. I got it. Here you go. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them apart and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. We'll see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey. Did you guys feel an earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I lived here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Go fuck yourself. Alright. He did seem to overreact a little, now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big earthquake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two get, uh, you two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe the earthquake triggered something and, like, F. Edgeworth's traumatic bullshit. That's probably why he's cornering in a ball or some shit. I don't know. Hmm. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. Yeah, it has to be something, like, traumatic, right? I wonder. He was never that scared uh, of them when we was in school. Then again, I only recall got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. To be continued. Give me a moment. I'm just checking the time. Oh wow, we got a lot of time to stream. See, that's what happens when you start when you start streaming at the scheduled time. You get a lot of time to do shit. We might be able to finish this, actually. Maybe. December 26, 9.44 a.m. District Court Defense, Lobby Number 2. Car... Car... For some reason, I didn't even know how to say the word karma. What the hell's wrong with me? Mm. Karma? That's right. Manfred Von Karma. What? <laughs> He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 years career. He's a... He's a god of prosecution, right? A god. Not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm, this seems fairly familiar, Edgeworth. I wonder where I heard these words before- Oh yeah, it was before I whipped your ass in court. Alright. Sounds like someone else I know- <laughs> Got him! Hmm. You don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred Von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. I taught- he taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. Huh? So, 
He was your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost one in 40 years. 40 years? He's as ruthless as... as times... Uh, wow, he's as ruthless as me times 20. <laughs> well, before I whip your ass. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty ruthless. Child's pretty long. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll be able to get to it or close to the ending of the trial. Like I said, he's good. He's a god amongst prosecutor. I guess it's something like Mia was. Uh, shit, I guess something. Fuck, I can't read. Speaking of Mia, Amaya, uh huh. We could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I can't reach her. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Wait, excuse me? <laughs> Do the other opinion please? Wait, what? Other option? What other option? What do you mean, never mind? What are you saying to me? What are you talking about? Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. This fucking guy. He has the puffy thing, too! Why is he gripping his arm like that? Um, now Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think that I would stand here where I'm not completely prepared? R right, my apologies. He's even gotten the judge scared. Very well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Ah, uh, nothing, of course. And that should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? I'm not supposed to fight against this. I can... I called the detective to charge of... Wait, what? I called the detective in charge of this case. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe. First, let's see how things go. Describe the incident. Now. Y yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please take a look at the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There are one boat. What? There was one boat in the middle. Uh, fuck! <laughs> There's one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12:10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Then wait, two pistol shots? Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. Hmm. Overheard. Overheard. Map. Okay. There you go. Testified to the court about the arrest. Now. Wait. Mr. Von Karma? Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling the proceedings. Wrong. There's only one thing you can do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Y yes, of course. You're quite right. No, he's not. Uh, there's a harsh... There's a there's a harsh option to have remembered from this case. I haven't seen anyone click it yet. Well, challenge accepted. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Edgeworth. Alright. Hmm, I see very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now. Damn. Alright. Well, first things first. Make sure to click that save button. Because that's a lot of reading to go back and do. Don't need a repeat of the first stream now, do we? 
All right. A man called in the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We have, okay, what do I what do I have for evidence first of all? Okay. First things first. What man are you talking about? Explain. You received the call from a man. Uh, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Oh god, this guy got a deep ass voice. That woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people. There were two witnesses. Hmm. Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today I summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping, a lot of heart. What happened next, detective? Alright. Headed to this scene of the crime. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, body was found in the lake. So we had to rest. So we had to. Okay. I don't want to press him on the suspicion. I don't think there's anything there, really. That's where you found him. How'd you find him? What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him, then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Detective, the court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. Yes, sir. Man, he's got his share of objections. Alright. Next morning, but it was found in the lake. Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? A pistol. Detective Gumshoe? That is vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right. Sorry, Your Honor. The murder weapon we found in the boat was the decisive evidence. Alright, decisive was the was decisive evidence. Okay. Hmm. I wonder... I wonder if... If I click this, would it count as... Because I want to I wanna ask him about two gunshots when the autopsy says... Says it was one shot that did the... That killed them. Even the health bar looks different. Does it really now? Oh. I didn't notice. <laughs> uh, morning body was found in the lake. Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet we received from the body. He was shot through the heart fatally. Judge, here's the bullet. I didn't strike. It didn't strike bone, so his shape was uh, preserved very well. The court accepts the bullet as evidence. All right. We have a bullet. Didn't suspect anything at all. Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You shouldn't know. We have a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutor. Detective, the court is interested in your musings. Deep trusting? Puppycock. I've never heard so many flipping comments from an active detective on the force. Mm. Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue now. All right. Didn't suspect them. Found Edgeworth. Has I seen a crime fast as we could. A man called into the station around 30 minutes. How long did it take you to get to the scene of crime? How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Well, I said it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is get there quick. Detective, you'll refrain from from casually revealing department secrets. Y yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Look forward to your next year's salary review. Oh, shit. So much look forward to th these days. This is no time to, <laughs> to deject daydreaming. Continue. Alright. Think I've... 
think I've pressed everything I could press on. The man called into the station. Now with our new pieces of evidence. Alright. Well, singular piece, I guess. Found in the victim's body, fired from a 22 caliber pistol. Overhead map. Lake. Article... 1215. Station, 30 minutes after midnight. What? A man called the station 30 minutes after midnight. But this is 215. I'm gonna use this. No. Alright, so there's nothing in that. Because 15 minutes after the sound of a gunshot is kind of suspicious, I would assume. It said 30 minutes after midnight. But I guess that's that's nothing then. Had to see the crime. Where he found Edgeworth. I didn't expect anything. The next morning, buddy was found in a lake. Did I press this? I believe I did. Let me just do it one more time. Did you find include? Yeah, okay. Yeah, the bullet. All right. Nick. Does it seem like the Ted Gumshoe is being a little vague? I bet Von Karma's feeding him lines. His testimony probably is filled with landmines just waiting to be pressed. What do you do? Get our teeth and press, I guess. Well said, Nick. You're the man. Is this another one of those instances where I have to press things in a certain order? Because <laughs> I don't like that. Alright. Uh, seen the crime fast we could. Found, found Mr. Edgeworth. Suspect anything at all. But the next morning, body was found in the lake. The murder weapon found in the boat was decisive evidence. I didn't press that, though. What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Tis, tis. Eck. He has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. There was fingerprints on the pistol found on the boat. There were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. What? Oh, shit. Order. Order. So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon? Yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. I, set, I accept it into evidence. Alright. Caliber fired three times. Bears prints from Edgeworth. What the fuck is going on here? One bullet killed them. Someone heard two shots, but the gun was fired three times. Members of the court? We now have the pistol used in the murder weapon, and the bullet found in the body. Detective? N yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes. The ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick. What does he mean, ballistic, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. Nick? He's glaring at me. Very well, I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Um, me? <clears throat> Ballistic markings are like a fingerprint on a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints into which gun fired the shot. That's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which you recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. This pistol, as you recall, was fired three times. This is bad. This makes us where it looks like he did it. Well, Judge, I say it's most decisive, yes. Honestly, I can declare a verdict at this point. However, you wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last 10 minutes. Judge? Yes. What are you doing? A 10 minute recess? Now? But, wait, I... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man. Yes. <clears throat> this court will now take 10 minute recess. Who's running this court anyways? Alright. That was, uh, what the fuck? What just happened in that court? Edgeworth, what's going on here? 
Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon? Um... And the foggy photo makes one thing clear. The one who could have shot the man, that person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? Yes, it was me. What? But you must believe me, I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I don't know. You don't know? Were you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Okay, see that's what I thought. Someone heard two gunshots. But, alright. The two gunshots can explain someone else is a shooter. But, my question is, why was the pistol fired three times? Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. Do you mean it was suicide? Well, that's the only explanation I came up with. Huh? How am I going to convince anyone of that? Say, Maya. Huh? Wh what? Any progress with Mia? Oh. Sorry. It's no good. Huh. I know. I'm not good for anything, am I, Nick? Don't say that. If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here. Oh, is this the is this the option he was talking about? You son of a bitch. How dare you? How dare you how dare you make me go against her like this? Yeah, you're useless. Uh well actually. You don't know law. You don't have any trial experience or techniques. Yeah, you're pretty much useless, but I can't say that. It's okay, Nick. You don't have to say anything. Your face says it. Oops. No, of course. It's okay, Nick. I don't know anything about trials or defense. <laughs> What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Well, everyone has their off days. Wow. We'll never speak about this. This never happened. Day two. Wait, what? Is this... We'll never speak about this? This never happened. Ever. No, I need you. Of course not, I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's, that, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick, you don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Well, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when your luck's gonna run out. Really? Whoa, right. Don't jinx this case any more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Whoops. Sorry you had to see it. How dare you. How dare you make me berate my spirit animal. How dare you. This court is back in session. Mr. Von Karma calls your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? She's so cool. I like her. A lot of heart. You're a research student at university. That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? You'll need to learn some manners. Understand? Yeah, I understand. I understand. Uh, very well. Your testimony, please. It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come from the lake. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in the boat. Then there was another bang. There was near, there was nary a uh, fuck. There was nary a thing on the lake but the boat. Enough. Huh? Judge, she happened to take a photo of the incident. This is the photo, accepted as evidence. Well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. Order. I'll remove people from this courtroom if I do not have order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There was no other boats on the lake, so the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. Order! 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 I will have order! Well, Judge. 
The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well, the court finds the defendant. Go fuck yourself! Wait, Your Honor, I'm gonna cross examine it. A cross examination? We have a photographic proof. What question can it possibly be? It's foggy as fuck, man! This photo's worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty. You lose. Or, do you claim to have found a contradicti contradiction in her testimony? Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder, flounder, flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then, I will have you held in contempt of court. Oh, Nick. Contempt? Contempt of court, you know? I guess I understand. Well, what are you gonna do? Do you really think there's a contradiction with the facts to her testimony? Of course there is. I think I noticed one little thing. Wow, I'm impressed, Nick. I don't notice anything. Right, let's take him on. Yeah. I got a bad feeling about this. I might lay straight into a trap. I understand. I'll cross-examine the witness. Tch. Very well. I pray for your sake this isn't a waste of time. Glad they didn't change the original music. It's pretty good. I like the soundtrack. Alright. Usually I would try and let the save go by on this one, because it's too close. I don't try and save off on everything, but fucking we just went through like a whole recess. Don't want to do that again. Alright, Christmas Eve. Just had you know, you reckon? You was in your car. I heard this bang come from the lake. That's one bang. So we were looking at the lake at that time. Nope. I looked after I heard that noise. Obstruction! She said that already. I asked you to find contradictions. Not leisurely chat with the witness. I'm looking for contradictions, motherfucker. She said one bang, and then she heard another bang. And he got one bang that did the killing. So where's the other bang? Another bang. You were watching the very moment the shot rang out. Well, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless. Contradictions, Mr. Wright. Not meaningless babble. I think I hate you. <laughs> I think I hate you. I'm trying to keep me from taking talking to the witness. To what end? Alright. Another bang. Looked out the window, saw two gents on a boat. Heard bang from the lake. I was in a car. Christmas me, just after midnight, I reckon. Are you sure it was midnight? Just after midnight, you say? In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Yeah, well, yes. I know you want to find contradictions, but really... I hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Hey, time of death is trial. Is fucking relevant, motherfucker. How about you dare? Alright. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents. There's another bang. Legendary thing. Are you sure you saw two people? Sure about that? I mean, it's pretty foggy. You can't tell if they're men or not. Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? No, it's foggy as fuck. Oh, no. Press further. Wait a second. I was going to ask you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Huh? Yeah, well, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. There's also a photo. You best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. He jumped in quick. He's hiding something. Alright. So, either it's the photo or the camera. Faces the lake. Let's do the camera. No, it's not the camera. Alright, so it might be the photo then. Alright. Objection overruled. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna try the photo then. No. Alright.
didn't go so well. Alright, let's press a little bit further, though. There's another bang. There was an area thing on the lake, but the boat. Are you sure about that? Yep, sure as a country gal can be. That sounds pretty sure. Press further. How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you... Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. Hmm. No need for further questions. Objection sustained. Uh, that's what I'm... Sustained! Yes, of course. Oh, great. What am I supposed to do now? There weren't any contradictions in there. Sorry, Nick. If only my sister were here. Maya really is taking this hard. Using your car? Why were you camping there anyways? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. Press a little further. Miss Hart? Could you be more specific about the research? Oh my god. This guy. This fucking guy. What does his witness motive in camping by the lake have to do with the case? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of questioning. Objection sustained. Wait now. I'm the one who says that. Well, then say it already. Objection sustained. Thanks for nothing, Your Honor. Enough! I think we already... I think we heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems you're unable to find a contradiction in the testimony. Nothing worth nothing. But, Your Honor... You keep your promise. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid that I will have to penalize any further outburst by holding you in contempt of court. And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Oh, fuck. Understood? Ah, shit. Nick? A lot of testimony's fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I know what you mean. But, if I can't say anything, what can I do? I believe we covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Edwards, please take the stand. Hold it! What? Who's that? It was me! Maya! Is something wrong? Did you need to use the facilities? No, I do not. Lot of heart. Your testimony stinks. It's unclear whether you're actually looking for... Uh, it's unclear... Uh, fuck. <laughs> it's unclear whether you're actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death. Uh, Lada? Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire the pistol? You will stand down. The court does not acknowledge the defense outspurs. Answer me, Lada. What's the big idea of treating me like some kind of criminal? I saw him, I swear it. I saw Edgeworth. Enough, Judge. Declare the defendants in contempt of court. Yes. Yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard, escort Mr. Wright out of here. You can't do that! I'm not the one who outburst! He's in contempt of court and must leave. No. No. What? Wait. I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Maya would have taken it harder if you picked the second option. Uh. Nick's innocent. Ha. Huh. What's the difference? All that remains is a guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Fuck no. Go fuck yourself. Wrong. What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She says she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony and I have a right to cross-examine her again. Order! 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 Or Alright, come on, calm down. Ain't that serious. <laughs> You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, man. I'm sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. What? Miss Lotta Hart has made a new testimony. The defense does not have a right to cross-examine her again. Wait, does or does not? 
Did I read that wrong? I think I read that wrong. But he's in contempt of court. No, I am. If you're gonna arrest someone, arrest me. Hmm. Very well. Maya Faye, you will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick, I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. Maya, I will not let this chance slip by. She sacrificed for the good of the team. I care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate uh, badgering, badgering of my witness. I'm running out of time. I better find a conviction in there. Conviction? Contradiction is there. Or else. Mr. Wright, begin your cross-examination. Fuck. I have no health for this. I saw it clear as day. The man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. And that's it? I don't know. I don't know if I can find anything in that. But I can't I can't squander Maya's effort either. Is that literally it? Oh my god. Alright. It's, it's a lot of a lot of shit going on here. Alright. You saw it clear as day. But what about this fog? Ha! Huh. Gotcha. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally. What? You got what? I got you. Apparently I got you. you. Did you not hear what I just said? I I got you. That's what I got. Look at this photograph. <laughs> the photo I took? The very same. There's something I want you to see in the photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So? This picture was taken with professional high-quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth? How? What? Ah. Seems like you activated my trap card. <laughs> Mr. Wright has a point. Objection! That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony, please. Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart. So, I love how I used that evidence earlier when she said she saw she saw the guys there. And I was like, and I was like, but how can you do that with fog? And it didn't count, but now it does? Story. By the way, I just hit my microphone. My bad. <laughs> Miss Hart. What? Could you see that defend could you see the defendant in night? Of course. I saw I said I could, and I meant I could. Then please testify as to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it! I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. Carefully vague. Yeah, right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grit. So once I was finished setting my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard the noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. I call bullshit. Very well. You may begin cross examination. One better be good. I'm really confused. Binoculars? Like, didn't she say... Can binoculars see through fog? I don't think so, but I think she means, like, since binoculars, like, zoom in, it, like, magnified, made things a little bit more clearer. Like, uh... Didn't she say when she came out earlier she didn't see anything on the lake? Or something? I don't know. She said I didn't see nary a thing or something. I guess she meant, like, anything else. Alright, let's see what we got. Miss with thick as grit, so once I finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. What binoculars? Binoculars? Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday, you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Yeah, I was. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars for that? I've got doubts on your camera, too. Was that really pictures taken of me? Uh, was that really to take pictures of meteor showers? The camera's relevant to this case. It's highly relevant to this case, actually. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You can't say that for certain. Hmm. Mr. Wright? Is the camera really relevant to this case? 
The cameras are relevant in this case. Now excuse me while I show you the photo of the guy who actually did it. That's super foggy. The fuck? You can't do that. Who you believe it is, you may continue with the line of questioning. Thank you. But know this. If you find nothing with this, you'll be, there will be consequences. Well, Mr. Wright, do you wish to proceed further about the camera? Yes? He's making a break of time. The camera is utmost important, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I'll continue my line of questioning. Wow, maybe I went a little overboard there. Very well, Miss Hart. You know what I just realized about the camera? That's really weird. She just said the mist was thick with the two C's. Um, what I just realized is earlier she said she, said she heard two gunshots, but even earlier before that, she said her camera took two photos. Now, from what I've seen, both of the photos are exactly the same. But, but there's like, there has to be a period of time when she heard the first shot, ignored it, and then once the second shot she heard, she went out. Hey, how you doing? I'm very confused. <laughs> Trinbot. Uh, alright, we'll testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, I hear ya. The camera was set up, take picture. Thanks for the follow. Highly appreciate it. As I sit here and then, and kill myself on these trials. The camera was set up to take pictures of a meteor shower. Alright. When I heard the noise out in the lake, I looked with my binoculars. What noise? There was a heavy fog. Why would binoculars change all that? What do you mean? Even binoculars can't see through fog. Yeah, they can't see through fog, but they can still fucking, you know, zoom in. But, you say you clearly saw them? Hmm. I did, yeah. Enough. There's no room for doubt in her testimony. She sounded pretty doubtful to me. But I have to find a clear contradiction first. I can't carry out many of Von Karmic's objections I get. I get to find a hole in the testimony if it's the last thing I do. Alright. It's cold. Alright, so you're saying the fog was thick. And I'm saying you can't see through the fog. So how could you see Edgeworth? Now just hold your horses for a second. You honest, <laughs> you hasty Yankee types never find a girl where, uh, fuck, never find a gal where I'm from. Defense attorney has trouble with that, as it is. Nobody loves me. <laughs> Nobody loves me. <laughs> what? Set up the camera, I went back in the car. Gotta ring out every bit of information. Your camera. Yeah, it has an automatic. Issue here is concerned with, uh, fuck. The issue we are concerned with is Miss Hart seeing Mr. Edgeworth. The camera has nothing to do with it at all. It obviously fucking does, but okay. He's not letting her answer any of my questions. Excuse me, I just, I just burped right into the mic, damn it. Why they roasting your boy Phoenix? I don't know, man. They're just jealous because their hair ain't spiky like me. They're jealous of my shiny badge. That's what they're jealous of. It ain't. They ain't got the luster that I do. All right. Well, let's see if we can press further about the meteor shower shit. Take pictures of meteor showers. <clears throat> Miss Hart, what made you choose that lake to photograph meteors? You know the fog gets thick at Blake. It's not very suited for stargazing. Yeah, well, you see, I... I guess I wasn't thinking too straight. Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness because of her challenged intellect. Wow! Now wait a minute. Continue your testimony. You were saying how was... How was that you saw Edgeworth? No unnecessary comments, please. Alright. So, what didn't I press yet? I pressed that. Finish setting up camera. I pressed that. Camera set up to take pictures of meteor shower. When I heard noise, came like. I pressed everything I could press. Alright. Now it's time for evidence. Let's see. When loud noises detect face, faces the lake. Yeah, if you were gonna take pictures of fucking. Yeah, if you were gonna take pictures of. Um. What's we call it? 
sorry, did something happen in chat? <laughs> uh, beating the game, accidentally spoiled anything. Being blind and shiny badge. <laughs> They're mad, <laughs> yeah. Um, my question here, I really hope this counts. If she was going to take pictures of Meteor Shower, why is it facing the lake? That makes no sense. Yeah, but meteors are in the sky, not the lake. You were photographing shooting stars. That's a lie. Says who? She... She must be the person who, were taken, who was taking pictures of the fucking, um... Of Gordy, the stupid Loch Ness Monster ripped off. It's probably what she was doing. Sell it to the tabloids or some shit. Says who? Says me. I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of stars, Miss Hart. Ugh. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. Well then, what exactly was she photographing? Show the evidence. Your Honor, take a look at this. What was Hart trying to photograph? Miss Hart? This is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article? Gordy. And this... Got her. Got her. Fucking got her. <laughs> in this... In the... In the sighting of Gord Lake. Well, Miss Hart? I never heard of no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's see your proof that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. You motherfucker! It should be the camera again. Loud noises detect. Overhead map. Could it be the map? It has to be either the map or the uh, or the camera. I don't have proof. Yeah. Also, it has to be the camera. Because fucking, um, meteors don't make loud noises to activate a camera. They're pretty far away. They don't make that much of a loud noise unless they're super fucking close. So of course I got proof. I have it. Proof. Hmm? Intriguing. Very well. Let's see it. And no joking around this time. Oh, I never joke around. What's the proof that the witness was trying to photograph Gordy? The camera. The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. Your camera was set to take photos and respond to loud noises, correct? Thus, the photograph here taken with the gun was fired to the lake. Alright. And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had set your camera to respond to loud noises. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him! Fucking got him! I see. I too thought it was strange. Yeah, sure. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Well, Miss Hart. Unless she was hoping that the meteor was gonna crash right in front of her. Exactly. What is this fucking Ben 10? You were, <laughs> you were camping there trying to find a photo. Wow, trying to get a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah. Not bad. You're all. Lo uh, <laughs> are all you lawyers this smart? So smart boy. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy, you got me. So what? Huh? That don't change that I saw what I saw, does it? Exactly. What you just saw <clears throat> What you just used several previous minutes what what? <laughs> what you just used several pretty minutes of our time to prove. It's nothing more than that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. Hey. But as she is so what? Oh, I thought something happened real quick. <laughs> I thought that she was, um... But as she's so... so What the fuck is that word? Sensuctively? I don't know. I don't know that word. I've never seen that word a day in my life. I'm not gonna pretend that I have. It changes nothing! Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason. I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart? Why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy from the court? Please revise your testimony. Right. Fine. I'll test. I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change. It has to. 
and I'm gonna spot it. Alright, I got this. I fucking got this. Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. I'm an investig uh, investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop it would be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. But that's all I was hiding. <laughs> when I heard the bang, it looked right straight out. I looked right straight out the lake. There was much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. When I saw a flash near one of the men's hands, and I heard another gunshot, I was there. I was looking right at the boat the whole time across my heart and hope to fly. Wait, what? Oh, cross my heart and hope to fry. Hope to fry. And I hope to die. Uh, well, Mr. Wright, cross examination witness. Go fuck yourself. The witness testimony is unchanged from before. It has changed. It has changed. Whether she is a research student or a photographer has no bearing on this case. There is no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross examination. Um, objection! I claim the defense right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Von, Von Karma's up to something, I know it. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her because, why? Where's their contradiction? Very well, we begin cross-examination. You seem sure of yourself, so... So you must have something in mind? Ha, huh, that would be the first. How's that the first? I just proved your shit wrong, motherfucker. You understand that this is your last chance, cross-examine Mr. Wright. There's no problem with the testimony this time. Oh, there is a problem with that testimony. I'm gonna show it to you. <laughs> Milk truck just arrived? Milk truck? What are you talking about? <laughs> hit him with that evidence? I'm gonna hit him with that thick evidence. Got these fucking papers in my hand. Alright. Gotta get that save going. I don't know why they have this save feature like this. They should really just have like a checkpoint system. Like how Danganronpa does it. Actually, I'm not a research student. Alright, I don't care about that though. I don't care about that. You wanna know what I care about? You know what I care about? Right off the bat, that sounds fishy. You heard the bang, straight out in the lake. Much else to do, so you watch both the whole time. You saw a flash of light, and, and heard another gunshot. Pressing the shit out of that. Was there nothing on the lake but the boat at the time? Huh? Wait, so you're thinking maybe he was shot from some other place? Oh, do I hate you? Well, I don't? Yeah? I don't think so, no. The lake was smooth as glass, and nobody was on the shore neither. How the fuck can you be so sure about that? You're on the other side. I better find some sort of contradiction in this testimony. I won't be able to be Von Karma any other way. There has to be something. Nah, there's, there's something, man. There's something. I want to press the other one, too. Camping out in the lake. Hiding. Heard the bang. Looks right straight out. Actually, what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. It was a lot sharper sound than I would have expected. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna... Alright. I want to hit I want to hit this one with the autopsy report, because autopsy report said it's one gunshot. But before I do that, I should really I should really just squeeze as much information as I can out of her fucking testimony. Imagine scoop if uh, picture. So let's get back to the beginning. Actually not a research student. University I don't think I'll get much out of that or that. Scoop beef got a picture of the monster. I don't think I'll get much of that either. Came out by the lake. That's all I was hiding. Is that all you're hiding? I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide your true purpose at the lake. Heck, if word got out I was up what I was up to, the lake be swarming with competitors. Competitors? Yeah. Second rate shutter bugs trying to steal my scoop. Hmm. Is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? Well, actually. Come on, man! <laughs> I have not had. I'll not have you asking questions with no relevance to the case. It's relevant. It's relevant. Whatever you say, Von Karma. I know you told her to keep quiet. Heard the bang. Just watch the boat. 
wasn't anything else to look at? There wasn't much else to look at. Yep. I don't know. If she heard a bang and she thought Gordy was out there. I doubt... I kind of doubt she wasted any time looking at a boat. What? What'd I do now? You gave me that look for. Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some evidence. Witness, continue. Hold your hush puppies, Pops. I'm getting there. Okay. Okay, let me see something. Maybe I can get something out of this. Imagine Scoop would be a picture of the monster. Is Gordy really all newsworthy? Heck yeah. They even had him up on the TV. I'm not sure that appearing on local uh, Rumor of the Month segment qualifies. Last month's segment was Bigfoot sighted in Acorn Hill, I believe. Hey, the only pictures of it on the newspaper for real. Mr. Wright, this is one fight I do not believe you can win. Let's keep moving, shall we? Okay. I wanted to see if there was anything I can get from that that's like, this is why you wouldn't look straight out of boat. Okay, so I, it seems like wasn't much to look at. Hmm. Seems like this is the most suspicious one. Wasn't much to look at. Overhead map. Right now, it could either be the Gordy article for that statement, or for the for the gunshot statements, it can be the autopsy report. Let's try... Let's try the article. Objection. Miss Hart? Were you really looking at the boat? Fucking got her. Fucking got her. What's with you? Of course I was looking at it. It was the only thing out there. Any normal person would be looking at it. I agree, any normal person. But you're not normal. Damn it. Why is everyone just getting everybody tonight? Let's go with this. What? You step... <laughs> you want to step on over here and say that? You were camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Also, she was there for like three days. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy. That's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Fucking square up. Listen. She wants some equal whites, or to catch some of these equal lefts, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. Don't repeat that. Order, continue, Mr. Wright. You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You need them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Well? Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Miss Hart, are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't fibbing, really. I was just, I thought, you know, I could be a witness to a murder and all. I kind of just got excited. But sure, I was watching that boat till now. This, this is totally uncalled for. But hey, you got the photograph, you got proof. I got proof of two motherfuckers on a boat. I don't got proof of Edgeworth on a boat. Still, we can't see who the shooting was. Yeah, thank you. Right, right. That's why I took this photo in. You can't see shit in there. Witness, that's enough. You had a long day, shut your pie hole. Shut my, wh what? What was she gonna say? She took the photo and what? Wait a second. She copied it? She gave a photo to prove it. But you really can't tell from the photo who's shooting. That's why she says she's going to enlarge this photo. Wow. I don't remember that at all. She said it'll drop the quality of might. But, sh but should let us see who's who. Wow. She enlarged the photo. Why would Von Kummer let her show it? I've got a hunch. I bet the enlarged photo shows something bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. 
If I'm wrong, though, it'll mean prison for Edgeworth or worse. What should I do? Make her show the enlargement. Miss Hart, look at this photograph. You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Yeah, I did. Why has the enlargement not been presented to the court? Because it does not exist. And yeah, go fuck yourself. She literally just said she did. What are you talking about? You're the one who told me not to show- Oh, she got your fucking number. You old fool. Everyone's credibility just getting shot today. God damn. What's the meaning of this, Von Karma? Uh, Miss Hart. Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. The prosecution can go fuck itself. Objection denied. Good shit, judge. The witness, <laughs> the witness shall show the enlargement to the court. Here it is. Oh, look at this JoJo battle happening right here. Look at the stance. He's like, I can't shoot you without getting close. <laughs> the biggest, stupidest thing I ever said. Uh, we still cannot see who's firing this. It should be, fuck. <clears throat> It should be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I accept this as evidence. Lake photo added to the courtroom. Fuck yeah. Happy now, Mr. Wright? You're damn right I am. There has to be something. You asked for the enlargement, you got the enlargement. And little and little good has come of it. And that's why I request it not be shown. Alright. I suppose this means that the cross-examination is over, obviously. Don't you dare. Then I would like to, cr I would like to close the cross-examination of Miss Lotta Hart. And none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I need to when this trial began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. Then I believe it's time for me to declare my verdict. Wait, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. This is bad. Bad, really. Uh, objective. And, uh, object to the enlargement. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Wait and see. Ain't no wait and see. They're about to close this shit. Object the enlargement. Show other evidence. Fuck, 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 fuck. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> fuck. I think what I want to do is show other evidence. Wait, Your Honor, this evidence. Go fuck yourself. I believe we have spent enough time talking about evidence. I believe we haven't. Wait and see equals good. <laughs> Indeed, you've heard opinions on every piece of evidence, but this enlargement. I see no point in retracing our steps. This is bad, real bad. What should I do? Objective enlargement. Are you telling me to wait and see? Are you spoiling shit for me, motherfucker? Are you doing that? <laughs> I don't want to wait and see. Objective the enlargement. Your Honor! There's something definitely strange with this enlargement. Deci decisively. It's strange. <laughs> what might that be? Mr. Wright? You will show the court what it means. What this photo is strange. Okay, here goes nothing. I'll show the judge what's strange about this photo. It's the gun! I'm, I'm clicking it. Oh. The gun! There, Your Honor. Where? Mr. Wright, I understand you're in a tight spot. However, you have not gained the basic. What? Isn't it the gun? Motherfucker. Oh, judge would say the verdict. Shouldn't it be the gun? Shouldn't it be the gun? The flash? It also should be the flash, because this is a different photo. It seems to be a different photo, at least. I'm gonna... The flash. 
Here, Your Honor. Where? Alright, well, go fuck yourself. It has to be something with the gun. Guilty. Fuck. I just hope I'm getting it wrong and it's not something, like, weird with, um... With, like, the location of what I gotta press on it. Check my evidence? No, it's not evidence, because when I did that, he just pushed me aside and he said, Go fuck yourself. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it has to be... There has to be something in the gun. Can't be the evidence. Is it not the gun? Oh, the hand- Fuck! I didn't mean to skip all that. I really didn't. I thought I fucked it up again. The hand? The hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that the left hand contradicts. Uh, Bear's Prince from Edgeworth's right hand. Take that, Take that motherfucker! Take that, you son of a bitch! Take it! Son of mm, Got him! The evidence is clear. The man in the photograph is holding the pistol with his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon was fired from Edgeworth's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, we got him now. Oh, fucking flex on him. Uh. Now that everyone in the courtroom has quieted down, I would like to recon I would like to reconvene this court of law, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You have given us def uh, definite proof today. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol at night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there was no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant should have shot the victim? Miss Hart, the victim himself. It was Larry! The victim himself. There's only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Order! Order! So, you're saying that the victim committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Hmm. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. But suicide is out of the question. What? An examination of the victim's wounds revealed the distance at which he was shot. The distance. The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. If he was shot from further than a meter away, then why the fuck did you think that Edgeworth did it on the boat if he's standing right next to him? What the fuck is wrong with you people? A meter? That's three feet. There's no way it could have been suicide. There's no way it could have been Edgeworth either. Order, order. Mr. Von Karma, are you sure? The accuracy of your, of your data? Of course. I have already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Optos report updated. Okay. Hmm. I see. Very well. Allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the shooter had been... Shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the prints of the gun revealed that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for the day. The court orders the defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. That is all. This court is adjourned. Go fuck yourself, Karma. I guess they wasn't kidding when they said Karma's a bitch, am I right? December 26th, the day after Christmas, I spent my Christmas day fucking around with a murder. Phew, that was a close one. Put that in your pipe and smoke, Edgeworth. How's that for a green behind the ears fucking attorney? Go fuck yourself. Uh-huh. Don't you got anything to say? No. 
I have yet to be declared innocent, right? Well, yeah, but what happened about the what happened out there on the lake, anyways? If you didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. What? Don't give me that look. I didn't kill him. I was just kidding around. Hmm. Look. I'm gonna go check on Maya. Oh. Yeah, she got locked up. <laughs> right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Tell... Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Would it kill you to just state how you really feel? With a thanks? I relinquished a transcript of Lada's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course, she didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that, that stood was the bang she heard. She heard two bangs. She heard two bang bangs. Dang, Ashworth can't appreciate Phoenix, man. I don't know, like... He can't appreciate it, right? There's some pride thing going on there, but I also think it's because this might be related to the DL6 incident. And fucking, and since, you know, Maya's the daughter of the medium that was there, it might lead some fuckery. So maybe, maybe that's why he's telling her to watch her mouth. Like, credibility might just get fucked entirely. Detention Center, December 6th. Maya! Hey, Nick, it's you! I'm glad Mr. Edwards made it through the day, uh, made it through the day, okay? It's a relief. Hey. Why'd you do that anyways? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave for now, okay? Okay. I know it will cheer you up. Check this out. Must be nice, Nick. You can just show that to anyone and say, I'm a lawyer. Damn right I can. Think Edward has something against Maya because of the ex? I don't think he has something against her. I think he's afraid that the court might have something against her. Because it's all, it's all pretty fucky, right? That people who were involved in the DL6 incident are now also part of this case. And having another medium on this case may fuck it up even more. So I highly, I highly doubt. And the whole entire time she's trying to contact fucking uh, Mia, just like the DL6 incident apparently, where they contact the dead. So it'll just fuck everything up. I'm pretty sure that's what Edgeworth is getting at. But spirit mediums will, I don't know, if you close, I bet at least some people will recognize you. But these are mediums in training clothes. I wonder if I'll ever get pro be a proper medium. Oh man, I tried to cheer up on my badge, but it didn't cheer up. Here's a picture of your mom. My mother. Now that I've shown her the picture, I'm not sure it was the right thing to do. I thought it was, eh. No, I'm pretty sure it was the wrong thing to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean to make her sad. Hey, look at this gun. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Alright, what we got? Questioning. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go. We'll let you go after questioning. You. Okay, and you wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? I can't even pay for my own fucking hot water. <laughs> hey, check out this gun. <laughs> um, how much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of <laughs> giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Because that's what it's supposed to be. Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm? She sounded like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there's... Are there any waterfalls near the location? I wonder if, they'll ever see my, if I'll ever see my sister again. Well, I don't think you'll see her again. You'll contact with her. She basically takes over your body. Oh well. Well, I guess I'm going now. Bye. Detective Gumshoe's not here. Gumshoe's at the scene again today. 
Huh? Oh, really? He's a live wire, that one! Got into a fight with the chief for not, uh, for not following protocols! Not following protocol? I bet he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. Alright. Points gun at my- I wouldn't do that! <laughs> Still has the bullet in it. See? <laughs> See, just look down the barrel. It's right there. <laughs> Alright. Let's head to the entrance. I gotta- I gotta drink my water. I'm fucking dying here. I just hit my microphone. Alright. God damn it. My throat is killing me. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the corpses are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Well, let's move in. <clears throat> haven't seen Larry out outside all. T oh, wow, haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off playing, <laughs> paying through the nose on a date. Wait, what? Paying through the nose on a date with Keonse. All right. Guess there's nothing here. December 26, boat rental shop. Looks like the boat rental shop is closed today, too. Nothing in the boats that I can check? There's some boats floating in the dock. Murder took place from the dock. Apparently, police. Alright, cool. Is this open yet? Small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone's around. Probably closed because of murder. December 26, the woods. Oh, shit. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. The trial's today. It, uh... Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was going to say a good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did say Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Uh, thanks. Detective Gumshoe? Any ideas what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? Sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? All oh, right, he said something about that in the trial today. There are two witnesses. I was wondering who the other witness was. Uh, who was it? Sorry, pal. As much as I like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. All oh, right. I want to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a prosecutor, and him being scared of earthquakes, it all started with the incident. See, there, there it goes. I knew there has to be some sort of, sort of traumatic experience to make him like crawl up in a ball like that. DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes, he still feels the he still feels the pain now. You see it in his eyes. Alright. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Fey. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told him to let her go as soon as they had the report written up. Man. I don't know what should happen in the courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out of that bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Ugh. I shed a tear or two. Don't know why I said it like that. Mr. Edgeworth? He's so moved I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did, you know? I'm gonna head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is Bill going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole- Oh, shit. He's paying for it. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Don't forget to go- <clears throat> Don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's writ, too. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Uh... Don't think a lot of takes very good care of the SUV. It's covered with dents. I can't believe anyone would drive the car out here. Anything new with the camera? Last camera is staring at the lake as usual. Even 
Even novice like me can tell that the camera must be must cost a pretty penny. I hope she doesn't leave it out here where it gets stolen. Alright, cool. I don't think there's anything here. Sign no camping. Funny place to pick <laughs> funny place to pitch your tent. Alright, cool. I don't think there's much over here. Um I wanna check the rental shop. Nope. Hey Nick, you finally came. They just finished the paperwork, I'm free to go. Free at last, huh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what'd you do this time? I was some kind of criminal, can you believe that? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for the bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We gotta win this case, Nick. That's exactly what I plan to do. So what do we do? What do you think we should do next? I'm kind of lacking the clues in the apartment. We can go to the park and look for Gordy. I was kidding. Still, if there's any clues out there, the park's as good as bet. Alright. So we head down there. Sure. Any ideas? Have you noticed anything lately? Hmm. You know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty it's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. I mean have you noticed anything about the case? Well, not much more than more than that, no. Did she leave the camera out there? I think she's leaving it out there just in case the monster shows up. It is sound activated. She probably still's uh, upset about Mia. I should leave her alone. Yeah, okay. Well let's head over. I wanna head over here. December 26, Grossberg Law. Apparently Mr. Grossberg's on vacation today. Well, I guess I can come back tomorrow if I need anything. Okay, well, go fuck yourself. Looks like Edgeworth is in questioning. Let's come back later. Guess so? There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct working up on the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all. Don't you hey, y'all, me. You gave me one hell of a ride in court. How did no one steal it? She chose a pretty secluded area. I guess most people wouldn't know about it. That's why she was like... She said she was keeping it a secret. Hey, it's Lada. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I really did it today. What do we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that could come to mind. Lotta. So you see, I'm gonna make it up to y'all. Make it up? You can make it up by telling me how awesome my badge is. Yep, I have to say I know exactly squat about <laughs> Alright. It's painfully easy to know when something doesn't catch Lana's interest. Alright. Today's trial. What do you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing a... I was doing it half just so I have. To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd be a witness. I was doing it half. What the fuck? I was doing it half. Even though I didn't really see anything. I, uh. God. I gotta have like a moment. <clears throat> I gotta look away from the screen. Alright. I kinda convinced myself I had it though. I'm sorry. I know I caused you a lot of trouble. Well, memory is tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine next time a witness, I witness murder. Right. You mean the first time you witness murder? <laughs> what about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figured, the trials only stroke the flames of Gordy's fever. I get my exclusive photo and rocket to start him. All right, Lotta, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative, investigative photographer too. Finish your spiritual, finish your spirit medium training first. All right, Lotta, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, 
And actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. We're getting a lot of heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Exchange? Um, I thought this was make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What? Information doesn't come cheap, my friend. Um, hey. I see you think, my, how unsophisticated these southern folk are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you most southerns... Fuck. Let me tell you, most Southerns are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just that ex I'm just the exception, okay? Well, what will it be? Are we gonna deal or not? Uh, what do we do, Nick? Fine, deal, fuck. We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You're completely off your rocker. Um, I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. You ain't gotta call me out like that. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa. Gordy? But Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he does. Huh? I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something, you come find me first. Okay. Right. See you later. I guess the only person who had information would be Larry, then. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Hunting? You, you don't seriously mean... Gordy! I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay. And how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist. Or we can find Larry. Maybe he'll know some shit. What the fuck? That wasn't there before. What is that? That's the Steel Samurai, Nick. Yo, Maya! Larry! What the heck's that? Oh, it was my girl Keontae's idea. She was all, if you like, put this here, it would be, like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. She just gave me a lot of shit. Whoa! That's real impressive she could find she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. <laughs> Is that a good thing? <laughs> she knows a lot of people, yeah, I bet. And that show finished and that show's finished now, and she's got them for free. Right? Alright, Edgeworth. Yo, Nick! What happened with Edgy? Well, you made it through the first day in court, alright. I don't know how good the prospects are from here, though. Huh? Hey, Larry. Did you know Mr. Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for a little bit. He transferred schools pretty quick. Transferred? Right. When the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. Hey, Larry. When did you get that big thing? Huh? Oh, the big guy? I've had it for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why are you sweating about it? <laughs> Why are you sweating about it? Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Oh, alright. The compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah. This little unit, my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put air in the Steel Samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it for repairs. Oh. Hey Larry, can I see this compressor you have? Here I thought you were... you inflated it by yourself. I would like to see the... Hmm. Okay. Alright. Let me just examine. What's this machine? That? That's a compressor. I use it to fill up the balloon there with air. Oh, neat. Just got it repaired yesterday. Man, what a drag that was. Does the steel ceremony look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. I guess it could 
I guess it's good advertising. Something about the Steel Samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. Hmm. Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True, true connoisseurs like Cody and me don't... Fuck Cody. I don't care about Cody. True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. These Steel Samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. Hey, Nick, can you tell me more about this compressor? No? Alright. Did I just call him Nick? Why the fuck do I keep calling him Nick? I meant Larry. Shit. Alright. Hmm. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the bow shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all, you're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. I get it. There's some boats floating on the dock. The murder took place here. Apparently the police took away the actual boat. Indeed, there's space for one more boat at the dock. There's gotta be something here. Alright. Well, let's... Let's move on to... I don't think there'll be anything for us there. December 26th, Police Department. There we go. <laughs> yeah, man, fuck Cody. That guy was painting my ass. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts? Wait, you didn't go and do something that's gonna hurt Mr. Edgework's case again. What do you mean, again? Whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides, money, that's... Yeah, I bet. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Gordy. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know how... Do you know Gordy? The monster down in Gord Lake? Not personally, no. Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your minds? <laughs> you got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me, then? Uh... Detective Gumshoe? Scaring me, Nick. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lada. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. Sorry. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take what it, whichever one you like. The investigation secret. I want that secret weapon. Okay, give us the goods. Show me your goods. Hold on now. Everything in due time. <laughs> Imagine if it was like, here's my secret weapon for getting people to talk. A gun. <laughs> You're just pointing at them. First, let's... <laughs> That would be fucked up. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapons number one. Missile. M missile He's a K9 police dog, still in training. Oh, I get a dog? I get a fucking dog? Missile. Missile, here boy. Look at him! He's he fucking adorable. Here he is. Hey, he's cute. Look, Nick, cute dog. A cute dog. And this will help us how? Woof. Next secret weapon number two, a fishing pole. Here, this is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah. How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. Okay, this next one is the last one. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. Oh. Oh, that could be super useful. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might it might have eaten soda cans. Well, which will it be? Hmm. Can't make up my mind, Nick. All seems so perfect. Can't make up my mind either. For a total opposite reason. Oh well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. Fishing pole could be... <laughs> Pulls out the gun. <laughs> Pulls out the gun. 
Uh. <laughs> Objection just shoots him. Overruled. <laughs> Alright. We have a dog, a fishing pole, and melt detector. Melt detector could be very useful. So can a fishing pole. But we're taking the fucking dog. Uh, there's no choice about that. We're taking a dog. Can you borrow a missile? Sure thing, pal. Be good to him. Woof. He's so cute! Oh boy. K9 unit missile borrowed from Detective Gumshoe. Exactly. I got a fucking. I got a. I got a big puppers. That was the investigation proceeding. It's not good. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to. <clears throat> we're supposed to talk about Mr. Edwards' motive. His motive. See, Mr. Edwards' father died in the, in the DL6 incident, and the guy who got the load. <sighs> that was a big yawn. And the guy who, who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in the case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that Mr. Edgeworth shot him. Mm. Never talks about his past. I bet they all dragged down and hit him within a court tomorrow too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Alright. Thanks for the dog. Do I just... Does dog count, count as evidence? Look at the dog! Missile's a big star in criminal affairs. Why is his name Missile? Huh? Now that you mention it, I'm not sure. But I hear he's aptly named for what it's worth. Fucking dog. I love this motherfucker. Let's go. We're gonna find all types of clues. Uh, where am I going? Hey, Nick. Hmm? Missile's been acting strange. Missile? Oh, alright. That little creature of the detectives. Hey, I love little doggies. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, shit. What, what's wrong, Missile? What'd you do? You attack him? Missile! Missile! Oh my god. Whoa, stop that thing. Cannibal, it's eating my samurai dogs. Sorry, Larry. My samurai dogs. One can say, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Boom ching Got him. <laughs> oh, he ate every single one. I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry? Sorry, I don't pay my bills, Nick. <laughs> uh, it's gonna have to. It's gonna. It's gonna have to this time. Oh shit. It's okay. Missile will cheer you up. Hey, Larry. Look, it's Missile. Isn't he cute? Keep that mud away from me. What am I gonna tell the big boss? There's a big boss in charge of hot dogs. Let me guess. It's Keonse. Nick. Maybe to stand in his front for a mafia money laundering scheme. Maya, I think you should probably try to look a little sorry about what happened. All right, yeah. <laughs> My poor dogs. Well, let's examine some things. Any the trash? Trash can's empty. At least it's well maintained. Can't get over the samurai dogs. The original samurai dogs, no less. Hey man, whoever calls their product the original first wins. Why don't you add world famous to the sign? Hey, good idea! What have I done? Alright. I don't think there's much... I don't think there's much for Mr. Ledoux. Yeah, okay. Let's head over here. See, I was, I was hoping that missile would react to something over here, but I guess he won't. Um, December 26, Gord Lake Woods. Hey, y'all. Well, you find anything about Gordy? Hmm, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at nighttime. It's a little chilly. 
I I think I have sneeze. Whoa! No, you don't. No sneezing. And it sets off the. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, Phoenix told that I'm not gonna pay you for your dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> pay you for your dollars? You mean for your dogs? <laughs> I told y'all, no sneezing. See, I set the camera to respond to the thing a little softer than a bang. It'll trigger, it'll trigger on one of Von eh, Von Karma's finger snaps now. So I bought I bought a dog to the super sensitive camera. It's gonna take a million pictures. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry is nice, but what about my film? Nick, pay the lady. I got no money. Hey, I know what will cheer you up. Look at him. Hey, Lotta. Oh, cute. He's yours? He's K9 Police Dog. His name's Missile. Huh? Canines are the ones that used to sniff for things, right? I wonder what Gordy smells like. Hmm. I had a I had a thought about that. Alright, Gordy. What are you gonna do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet. Uh, you UFO? What? Oh, UFO. Is that what she's saying? Anyways, if you can't get if you can't get a career making photos this time, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh? So you really are a university student? Yeah. Well, I'm taking a break for a bit. Right. All right. I learned something in today's trial. That's for sure. Just finding serious business. That's why I decided not to. Okay, I think I read this already. Uh, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for dirt on Gordy. All right, cool. All right. Well, that's pretty much it for her. I guess I can go and try and talk to Edgeworth now. Nope, Edgeworth is not available. Go to the office. Ah, fresh air. I gotta say, freedom feels great. Behave yourself in the courtroom tomorrow, okay? Heh. <laughs> Misbehaving is much more fun. It's not going to be so much fun when Edwards refuses to pay your bail again. Right. I'll behave. Oh, dear. Don't waste time showing me things. Hey, get cracking on the case. But it's a cute dog! I wanted to see if there was a, a little fun thing, like if the dog pisses on the floor or something like that. I don't know. Any ideas? Well, lot share. Detention all day. I think it's time to think. Alright. Nothing. I don't know. I've been detention the whole time. Shit. Where am I gonna get... Hmm. I guess I can just switch them up. Borrow one of the other things? Yeah, sure, pal. Alright. So let's borrow this melt detector. Remember you're hunting for a monster, anything possible, anything. Alright, cool. Oh, it checked off. Did we just need the metal detector? Is that it? I wanted the dog. I want to keep the dog so badly. Alright. Well, let's, um... My bad. Wrong button. Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. Alright, cool. I was hoping I could just, like, use it in the area. Maybe around here. Beep! Beep! There we go. Nick! It's beeping! The metal detector found something. Sure, it's loud enough. Alright. Whatever it is, it must be those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? Nick? Look! 
Is that a... Yes! Yes! Yes, I knew it! That's amazing. Alright. So what I was thinking is they're like, listen. The bullet was shot from like a meter away, right? Yeah, the bullet was shot from a meter away. But Edgeworth says that he's pretty sure someone else shot from a distance. Now it's possible that the compressed air in the air tank could fuck it up somehow. And make it seem like they were shot from from a meter away by just compressing a goddamn bullet. Now the only question for that for me is how does that explain the um, ballistic identifiers on the fucking bullet? That's why I wanted to see the compressor when uh, Larry was talking about it. I was like, can I see that for a moment? The valve looks broken. Although it was... I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the business, bushes? And second of all, what a metal detector react to a sea monster. Oh. Huh? There's something wrapped around the air tank. Looks like a string of flags? Yeah, this belongs to Larry. It's heavy. I'm gonna bring this to Larry. I'm gonna show it to him. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I want to ask you about this air tank. Is it yours? Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's strange. See how there's a string of flags around the tank? It just looks like the strings of flags around your steel samurai here. Hmm? It must be a coincidence. There's a string of flags everywhere these days. Like elementary schools. And a I don't think Larry was there on the night of the murder. Is it a possibility? Because now he's sweating and he's nervous. Is it a possibility that Keonce Miss un unheard of. We haven't seen her yet. Is it possible that she could have done it? Look, why would I need a tank anyways? To inflate something? Uses to inflate that, didn't you? Inflate what? What else? The big puffy steel samurai. No way. Why would you go ask me a question like that? Looks like I hit a nail on the head. Yeah, of course she's guilty of something. Right? Right? Actually, um... See that compressor? I always use it... Uh, I always... What? Well, fuck. I always use was on... What the hell? See the compressor I always use was on the fritz? So I tried using the tank to, inf to inflate it just once. And it didn't go so well. As I suspected. I want to ask more about the tank. It didn't go so well? Yeah. Don't you think it could be a little more specific? Come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us. Tell us. What'd you do? You hit yourself in the face? Fine. Whatever. It's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then... BLAM! Oh. The valve busted open and made it incredibly made an incredible noise. When did you do this? Did he do this at the night of the murder? The tank took off like a rocket. It took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gord Lake? He sure scared me out of out of my gourd, that's for sure. Okay. Now talk to me about that. Was this at nighttime? So, the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to fill flew away. What happened next? Well, uh, all that happened on the 20th. Okay, a week ago. Now, as far as I can see, the tank went flying into the lake. So I went out every night to the boat, uh, in a boat looking for it. I mean, Keonse gave me that steel samurai after all. Oh, when did you find it? Just the night before last night, on the 25th. Mmm, so that's the first bang. That's the first bang that he might have heard. That, uh, what's-her-name, that Lada might have heard. 
We flew out there. It took four whole days. All right. The night before last, the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. So, didn't know what happened. No. And that's too bad. It's not all bad. We saw one mystery, at least. A mystery. Maybe we should tell him. Maybe we should tell her. Alright. That also works as, uh... As information. The loud bang that she heard. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I got the info you need. Why do you got a scoop of Gordy for me yet? Uh, Gordy doesn't exist. Lotta, there's no such thing as Gordy. What? How can you be so sure? Really, Nick? Oh, let me guess. Let me guess. So, the... The, um... What's it called? The air compressor went off on the 20th. That's probably the loud noise people heard and they thought it was the monster. Right? And then they went and took a picture of wherever the fuck it was. Maybe it was the Steel Samurai or something uh, poking through the water or something like that. Alright, proof that Gordy doesn't exist is here. No liar worth his badge will make a claim without the proof to back it up. Here's proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Larry's air tank? What are you doing with the air tank? This is Gordy. Hmm? Excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here, a hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot happened to be a friend of mine, tried to fill it. And used the air tank, and when Val blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang. The tank along with the steel samurai deflated fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple, okay, a couple was taking a photograph at the lake. There you go. There you go. All right, this photo. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy is really the steel samurai? Well, that's a fine way to ruin a girl's dreams. Sorry, Lotta. Nah, it's okay, you win. I'll give you your info like I promised. Poor Lotta. Lotta, I know exactly what will cheer you up. Check this out. Damn it. <laughs> hey, at least she's more chipper now. So tell us the information you have. I prom a promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said that the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path there. Boat rental. There's someone in there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living by himself. You should go check it out. Thanks, Lotta. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah. The night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know? See, that's what I've been saying. Um, yeah, they just happened to take a photo, right? Um, but this is what I've been saying. She said her camera clicked twice. So you have another photo? Well? Yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. It's just the lake. I figured it would be... It wouldn't, eh, it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but... Here, take it. Alright. Bye now. Take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Poor Lotta. It's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry... F uh, of Larry familiar to all who... Who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butt into shape. Damn. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I can't view it. Shows empty lake taken automatically at 11.50. Okay. That's interesting. Alright. 
Uh, maybe edge. Oh, boat rental place. Hadoi. Totally forgot. All right. Hey, Nick. This is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's check it out anyways. Can I not go to the door? No? Alright, I think I should go and switch out. There's more forest that way. Doubt there's anything in there. I should at least head back to the, um... To a gumshoe and switch... Oh, I can go in the shack now. Cool. There's a fucking parrot? And rice cookies? Meg, that's you? Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Nick, you handled this. I think I'll leave this one to you, Maya. Meg, yes? Finally made up your mind, have you? My, my mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. P pasta Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running, old man like me? Polly, the kids are home. Hello! Hello! Squawk! Nick, what's that? A parrot. The one on the perch. Keith! Yes? I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. Nick, what's the wet noodle? Uh, based on the avail on the available evidence, I say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello, squawk. Yep. Okay. He fell asleep. I guess he's. I guess he's. Uh. Well, a oh, fuck. I guess he's relieved. Why the fuck couldn't I say that word? Well, while he's doing that. Look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on his table. It's a kotatsu. That's what I was talking about before. Like in one of the earlier streams. Oh no, I wasn't talking about in the stream. I was talking about that with someone today. My bad. Someone didn't know what a kotatsu was. Uh, look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on his table. That's a great idea. We should do that at the office. We can sit down with our clients snug and warm and drink hot chocolate. Oh, what? Talk about murders. And you're a party pooper, Nick. Pooper? Well, party pooper. Alright. Hi, Polly. Wow! What an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Hello? It ignored me! What? You forgot, Meg? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly, how you been? Hello! Hello! See? Neat. So the pair's name is Polly. T too bad all she can do is say hello. <laughs> Old Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? What secret words? Polly? Polly? What's your name? Polly! Yeah, cute. Maya found a new friend. That's cool. Looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Funny, he doesn't look like the type who keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. Wow, he has a television here, too. Looks like a little safe. <laughs> Why did I have a hard time saying that word? <laughs> Looks like a little safe. It's locked. Like, my voice just gave out on me for a hot second. Wow, there's a lot of various fish in Gore Lake around here. Something's funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. Is that it? The fishing pole looks expensive. Alright, I think that's it. Trash can? Nope. Alright. Polly. Ah, my memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. 
everything important. Ah, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight, squawk! All right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? <laughs> See, Nick, all it takes is a little clever thinking. And criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write the number down. Hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. Well, while he's asleep. Sorry, sir. I might have to. Oh, I can't? Alright, cool. Might be something important in there, though. Sir, wake up. This is important. That's a lawyer's badge. Yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. Yeah! I fucking did it! I get it. Huh? Yep. I got you figured out now. You're not Keith! Oh, shit. Dang, Maya, you are gonna rob this old man. Yeah? Nick? Now's our chance to clear things up. Um, sir? No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either. We're here investigating a murder that took place on the lake the other night. Please help us. Um, a lawyer, huh? Yeah, mister. Alright, I'll help. But on one condition. Do I gotta bring him a fish? When the case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. Fuck. Should I? It might be a good source of income, right? I gotta pay bills. Maya, it's all you. You run the wet noodle. Okay, we promise. Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Wait, didn't, didn't I just say? You too, Meg. Yes. <laughs> you bring a tear to your old man's eyes, you know? Now, what was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello! Hello! Squawk! Err. Uh, now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Alright. That was cool. <laughs> um, this is the boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here's the place for pasta, the wet noodle. Though, now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come here and say, Oh, dude, you want to ride one of your boats? That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days. Darn if I understand them. Pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. But the old man is witness tomorrow, right? We got we got to find some way to... Uh, fuck, I can't speak. We got to find some way of getting information out of him. Um, pasta shot. Yep. To think the wet noodle will live on I'm, I'm, when I'm gone. My father started it, you know? So it makes it makes you two, third generation. Meg? Yes? Tomorrow we'll start the secrets of dough tossing. Dough tossing? You too, Keith. Yes. We'll be the, big, we'll be the best pasta wrangler that the West has ever seen. Pasta wrangler? The West? Isn't pasta from Italy? Meg! Yes! You know the best pasta is always made, uh, always been made by what? What? Always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course. Everybody knows that. Nick, huh? How long do we have to keep up this all-in-family charade? The old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what's what. All right. So I have a idea. More money. I mean, like, listen, I'm assuming he does, like, he just owns the place and doesn't really have to pay that much of, like, rent or anything on the shop itself. And also, if we run a pasta shop and also a, bur a boat service at the park, Phoenix can get more money to pay his bills. Fucking get as much money as we can. Keep things afloat. Just put Maya in charge of it. She doesn't know anything about law, so let her do some noodle shit. All right, so here's what I'm thinking, right? Given the background that I see in his place and all the pictures of the fish, I think I can head to the, uh, I can head to the affairs department. 
Oh. Okay, what's going on here? Hmm, Detective Gumshoe is in here. Fuck! I wanted to, um, get the fishing rod from him. Now that you mention it, didn't he say he had a meeting to go to? Ah, that's right. Let's come back later. Motherfucker. Alright, cool. Um. Detention center. Still can't see Edgeworth. Alright. Law office. No. Grossberg. Why is Grossberg even an option if I can't go there? <laughs> if I can't do nothing there? Alright, well. Yeah, nothing here. Okay, so. Back here. Maybe I can talk to Harry again? No. Did I just call him Harry? I call him every name besides his actual name. Alright, there has to be something in here then. Polly's here is my only friend in the world. Isn't that right, Polly? Hello! Hello! Squawk! Yep. Hey, old man, look at this gun. Um... What's this? There's nothing else I can talk to him about, right? Hmm... It's gotta be something I can show him. Fell asleep. Hmm... Okay, so that's not important or anything. Heard two sounds, gunshots after midnight. That's Lotta's. Gordy, Miss Faye, Lake Photo. Is there nothing else I can do in here? The parrot or anything? See, I thought I could get the fishing rod and maybe do something, but I guess not. Check out this metal detector. Yeah, of course not. I don't think there's much I can do. You know about Gordy? Nope. Well, that was easy. What about this? Yep, I see this. You know something about this, sir? Keith. Yes. It's okay. You can call me Dad. D dad You know something about this? Yep. The other night, out on the lake. Yes, yes. I know all about that. I've seen it. What? Tell us. Tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Since you're taking over the shop and all. Th then tell me, motherfucker. I forgot the time, but it was pretty dark outside, probably night, yep. It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang, so I looked outside, then I heard another one, BANG! A little while, a little while later, this boat's come back. A young man walked by a man, wait, what, what? <laughs> a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself, yep. What'd he say? Uh, yep. I forgot. I remember tomorrow by court time, promise. You need to know earlier than that. You know what? Uh, little Terry was just here. Terry? You mean Larry? The kid next door I always used to make him cry, remember? Wait, what? Uh, hey. <laughs> Hey, old man, you want to see this gun? <laughs> uh, hey, he was wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing on his face. What? He must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. Oh, okay. He come up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're going to get much useful information out of this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh, wait, I have one more question. Huh? Polly! Polly! Have we forgotten something? Squawk! Don't forget DL6, Squawk! What? What did she just say? One more time, Polly? 
Don't forget DLC, squawks. What? The DL6 incident? Oh, okay, so it's all coming together then. Hey, mister. I, I, I mean, dad. This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Who is that old guy? Uh, why did the bird know about DL6? We have to figure out who the old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other side. What? What? Who would the old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Hi, Larry. Bye, Larry. December 26th, Department Criminal Affairs. Hey, pal. Long time no see. Hmm? You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? I actually want to ask you something. Yeah? Talk about this DL6. Take the gun shoot, please help us. Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think it has something to do with this current case. To tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 neither. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I'll consider opening the file up. You know the boat rental shop uh, down at Gort Lake? Oh yeah. The old man who runs it is apparently a witness at the court tomorrow, right? Uh, how'd you... That was supposed to be top secret. Do you know who the old man is, detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an old bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify a witness. That's why I called Miss Lotta Hart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Don't forget DL6. I don't... Hmm. He might be, uh... He might be Hammond. I know they said the body they found was Hammond. But maybe it's some sort of elaborate cover-up. Maybe he's the guy who went into hiding to protect his reputation. Hmm. Alright. Give him something that... That'll convince him for a deal six stuff. Answer the name Polly. Okay. Alright, well, can I switch? No. Alright, I was gonna see if I can switch anything out. Let's head. Alright. Grossberg should have some files on DL6. Expensive looking mahogany. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've been read ever. No clues here. Solid mahogany desk. Alright. I thought I would find something. Maybe we have something in our office. Alright. Alright. Don't see anything. We need something to... to persuade him to let us open up that file. So the old man has something to do with deal 6. I don't... He has to! He said he tells his bird important shit. Parrot? What's that? Parrot? The old man at the boat's rental shop, Parrot. The parrot knows about the incident. The incident? Deal 6. What? Polly! Polly! Have we forgotten something? Squawk! Don't forget Deal 6! Squawk! Huh? Pretty sure the old man must have taught her the word. Yeah, 
How would that old man know about Deal 6 and something? Wait, what if... What if the old man was connected to Deal 6? Nick, you think he might be... I getcha. Sounds like you need information on Deal 6. Though, there is the station records room. I'll give you special permission to go in there and find what you need. Alright, way to go, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, Nick, to the records room. I guess it's time we face Edgeworth's Pass. We are making a lot of progress here. Let me just keep an eye on the time. If I can do that real quick. Alright, got a little bit more time before I have to end the stream. <laughs> wow. It's amazingly dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find the deal six stuff, quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We're almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of deal six? Nick, I found out where the file is. Oh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the deal six incident. I'll go get the right file. Sweet. Let's get the case summary. Get a handle of the main facts, like the summary. Right. <clears throat> summary, summary, found it. Here you go. December 28th, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So, in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator at the district courthouse. What? In the same district courthouse we're, hold we're holding trial in right now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at the- oh shit, alright. At 2 p.m. on that day, part of the court building collapsed and all the lights went out. Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. Oh, that's why he doesn't like her- okay. Alright, yep. Yeah, that's pretty traumatic. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. That would be scary like... Uh, that would be scary like that in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? Alright. He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in the elevator victim. Do you have that on the victim, Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost the day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So, he was in the elevator with his father. Yes, we just went over that. Yeah, because... Yeah, the earth. I was wondering how the earthquake would be related to the inc incident, but they were the earthquake caused them to be trapped in the elevator, so that's why. From the angle of the bullet and the other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon pistol was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. What? Okay, but what's the? There's a lot of the same mo happening right here. Pistol's been fired two times. But was there, on death, did he die from one bullet or two? Huh. Sounds just like the current case. What's going on here? Okay. Suspect. Got any dead on the suspect in there? Hmm. That'd be the guy my mom got, arrest got arrested. Hold on. This is it. The man arrested as a suspect deal six was Yanni Yogi? And he was a clerk in the in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen-deprived uh, oxygen so much that he had brain damage. Oh, all right. So the death thing's not a cover-up. Cool. So the prosecutor is dead. 
is it the prosecutor? What's his name? Hammond? Well, Hammond's dead. Alright, so that old guy must be the fucking, um, the clerk. It would make sense for his forgetfulness. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? He may be closer than we think. I guess I know generally what happened in Deal 6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick. Are we going to take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? File on the incident. Right. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. All that's left is trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. Woo! Damn. It's almost the same, but the only thing I don't get is like, alright, there's two bullets that were heard at both incidents, but the gun in this incident was fired was fired um three times. Unless someone was literally carrying the same gun that fucking that killed his dad or something and somehow I don't know, carried over the numbers or something. Like in the Shit, I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. Wait, you know what I think it can actually be now? Now that I really, really think about it? It can be this. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking, right? So, the incident 15 years ago, DL6. Guy in the elevator, whoever did it, shot his dad with two bullets. Bang, bang. Somehow, Edgeworth recovered said gun or someone recovered said gun and held on to it with those two shots already fired then they probably fucked up their first shot missed probably Edgeworth missed meant to kill the guy or the guy meant to kill Edgeworth whatever like whichever missed the first shot so that's why the bullets count as three and then someone off in the distance probably shot another bullet and that's why in this case they heard it as two shots that's the only way I can possibly see it alright so where we're at we're at the trial now damn okay Alright. The person missed. I would assume the person missed. Whoever shot the bullet on the boat. Right? And then someone in the distance... Probably shot off a different gun. And, and hit. But when the picture was, was taken... It only had the picture of... The person in the boat shooting the gun. That's all I can think of. But... I would, I would definitely love to fucking, I would love to start the trial now, but we've been, I've, I've been doing this for what, five and a half hours? So sadly, this is where I'm going to have to end the stream. <laughs> uh, because right after this, I got to do a bunch of, I got to do a bunch of bullshit. Oh my God. So this is where we're going to start, uh, stop the stream. Same time tomorrow. Uh, the stream times are, you know, in the about me or whatever. It's also on my YouTube. <laughs> Thanks. I enjoy doing the stream. I really do. I hit my microphone yet again. Um, <laughs> so same time tomorrow, you know, 1230, uh, 1230 a.m. like midnight. Yeah, 1230 a.m. EST. And then uh, that would be 930 p.m. PT, uh, PDT. Fuck. And... Yeah, the stream schedule's down there, everything that. Everyone who joined the stream tonight, thank you very much. Thank you for the support, the new followers. Invested now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm invested too, shit. I really... Think about how I feel. I literally have to sit here and look at the game as I'm like, I can't touch it, I can't play it, I'm doing a blind playthrough, I can't do it. Mm. But I want to play it, right? So, tonight... Tonight, tomorrow, whatever the fuck, how, how, how our time works. I'm going to be back. More Phoenix Wright. Probably going to finish up 
uh, case four, right? And then move on to case five, if there is a case five. I think there's a total of six cases in this game, maybe? I'm not sure. And that's about it. We're making pretty good progress throughout the game, I would say. Um, and yeah, once again, everybody who joined the stream, thank you very much. The new follows, I highly appreciate them. And for the people on YouTube, once this gets uploaded, thank you for thank you for watching there. Uh, in the description below, they can see the stream times too, if they ever feel like joining. And yeah, if it's the morning for people, have a great rest of your day, the afternoon. Um, take it easy, have a good night, you know? And if it's nighttime, then you're probably just a night owl and you're, you know, hiding under a rock somewhere. <laughs> and if it's your birthday, or a birthday of your friend and or family, treat yourselves something nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. As always, once again, thank you to everyone for supporting and watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Everyone take care.